words of Coach Alex Angeles, may pagkakataon pa para bumawi. And that is exactly the case here tonight inside the Strike Gymnasium. As the marching band capital of the country, can the fans of the Bacoor City Strikers help them march their way to victory? Or can Justin Balti Baltazar, Governor Delta Pineda, and the rest of the Pampanga Giant Lanterns finally take the crown of the MPBL home to San Fernando, Pampanga? Ito ang liga na sinusubaybayan mula Luzon, Visayas at Mindanao. This is Game 3 of your Maharlika Pilipinas Basketball League National Finals. Some big shots here from Archie Concepcion to the three-point line and knocked down. Here comes Baltasar again, big spin. Chito Jaime pops out, fires, and knocks down the three-point shot. Good defense, talaga. Nahirapan kami. Tumikit yung laban. Walang bibitaw. Kaya natin to. Puso ang kailangan namin. Crack the tape for three! No! Blue score! Yi! And Papanga takes game two! The Giant Lanterns on the verge of the title, moving one win away. One team is looking to complete its date with destiny. The other looking to stay alive in a series where they have yet to get going and have been struggling to make their mark. But tonight, the Bacoor Strikers are back at the comforts of home where they will be keeping their hopes alive for a spot in Game 4. It's another big night of basketball here in the Maharlika Pilipinas Basketball League saan ang Bacor City Strikers will be looking to extend the series that has really not gotten their way Pampanga 2 to nothing in this series ang lamang nila and uh, this is what they are fighting for the 2023 MPBL National Trophy carried by no less than our MPBL League founder and chairman Senator Manny Pacquiao, will we see a coronation tonight? We will have the answers in uh, just a little over two hours as uh, Game 3 is upon us. Dita's a strike, Jim. MPBL founder, Senator Manny Pacquiao, our MPBL commissioner, Kenneth Doremdes, showing us that beautiful trophy. Will... Pampanga lift that trophy tonight here on the road. And uh, that is going to uh, be uh, answered. But for now, that is a marvel at that beautiful creation. And of course, the dalalaran Manny Pacquiao who has been the reason why we are here and why this league has gotten so big and has grown over the past five years since it started. And uh, the MPBL Trophy has uh, been won by four different teams. No team has won it twice. And uh, this year, of course, Meron Bagong Champion Olet ang MPBL. And interestingly, that trophy has always been won on the road. No lagging sa. Hindi, hindi, wala pang nagsa-champion sa kanilang home court <laughs> ever in uh, the MPBL. And uh, we have Executive uh, Officer uh, Joe Ramos, of course, right there. And uh, uh, our uh, pre-game uh, before uh, Game 3, uh, highlighted by this appearance of uh, the MPBL trophy dito sa Strike Gym. And uh, 
Selfie muna bago uh, mangyari ang ating uh, game 3. And everyone is uh, waiting for uh, game 3. But we uh, have some special guests, of course, coming here. Arwin Santos. And uh, may kita kaya natin si Justin Baltasar lifting that trophy tonight. And I'm pretty sure he will do everything in his power na makuha nila ang kampiyonato ngayong gabi. Magandang gabi mga kaliga si Delph Tupas kasama ang nagbabalik na si Coach Louie Gonzalez. And Coach Louie, we've seen the trend in this series and Pampanga has been dominant 2 to nothing. But what do you think will change tonight? Oh, oh, etong bako or kaya dito maglalaro sila sa kanilang home court where they are more comfortable. And pero to, for tonight, si Delph, it cannot be etong bako or na magiging good lang sila. They need to be great. They need to be great on defense. They need to be great in rebounding. Well, a lot of factors playing in the series, no? And sure, the championship ring na yan will be uh, awarded to each member of uh, the championship team ng uh, kung sino man ang mananalo sa series na to. And uh, we go straight to our playoff bracket. And that's where we stand right now. Pampanga, eight wins to the good dito sa playoffs natin. They need one more. You need nine wins to lift that trophy. And ang Bacor naman, still looking to bring it to the win column sa sering to. Oh, oh, and you know, this Pampanga team, during the playoffs, said that just got better and better. Alam mo yun, wala, hindi pa sila nakakaramdam ng talo. At ito namang Bacoor, ito, alam mo yun, ito, di, ngayon pa dumating na medyo nag struggle sila. Well, Pampanga has unleashed several weapons in the playoffs and they're doing it both on both ends. No? Kung sinasabi nga natin, if it's a low-scoring affair, Bacoor has the advantage. But no, Pampanga can grit and grind it out with the best of them. Oh, I'm really impressed on how they defend right now. Alam mo yun, itong team na to built, with to, built ito ng, alam mo, yung versatility ng mga players. Pero right now, ang pinapakita nila, grabe yung depensa. Uh, grabe. Yeah, grabe din yung trabaho na nakikita natin from this Pampanga team. 42% shooting in Game 2 on another Rebounding edge plus 12 sila and uh, they had seven more assists and the points in the paint as expected Masha lamang sila dyan because of the size that they have but one player who has stood out especially in game two Ito si Archie Concepcion a very emotional game para kay Archie Concepcion and he mentioned getting inspiration from his mother na nandun sa crowd he finished with 13 points, 9 in the fourth quarter. Oh, uh, it's been a roller coaster uh, kay, uh, performance right now kasi for Archie. Pero alam mo yung maganda dito sa batang to, in the fight within him stays. Uh, playing under his, uh, talagang kanyang motivated siya maglaro kay under uh, Coach Delta. And, uh, he really showed up in the in the in-game too. Oh, uh, no, and those, dalaw ang dalawang green dyan, no? especially in the three-point line, those were crucial shots, those happened in the fourth quarter and dun sa dun may medyo konti umalakwa itong Pampanga because it was a tight game at 61 all and those two threes triggered a 7 to nothing run and uh, yun na magbigay ng cushion para dito sa Pampanga and you take a look at that shot chart right there for Archie Concepcion a, a big performance he was awarded a member of the mythical second mythical team and uh, for more on uh, Archie, let's go to Andrea Indisha. Kung maaalala natin, Archie Concepcion became really emotional during his best player interview. At sabi niya, it was because of that breakaway feeling. Ilang games na daw kasi niyang hinahanap ang kanyang usual numbers at nalulungkot daw siya about the fact na kung kailan pa naman daw crucial ang mga laro, saka pa daw siya nagiging off. And so, with the blessing of his mom, nahinawakan daw niya ang kamay during the game at yun na daw ang nag-spark sa kanyang suerte that night. Uh, it all started for Archie Concepcion. At dagdag pa ni Archie, uh, nothing is for certain para sa next season. And so, he wants to do everything in his power to end this season on a high note. And so, will we be able to see the, see the same Archie Concepcion ngayong gabi? Let's find out. So, Dolphin Coach Louis. Maraming salamat, Andrea. And uh, syempre, and as you mentioned, Andrea, uh, ito si Archie Concepcion was really, uh, really inspired in that uh, game to win in, uh, ang, uh, in uh, the Brent Zigao. Uh, convention center. James Gregote naman, Coach uh, Louie, you're very familiar with this player. Uh, you coached against him in the NCAA. He had 16 points in Game 2. Uh, a very big improvement from Game 1. Uh, meron na siyang dalawang putas and one of them shooting. But still, yung efficiency na hinahanap po 
not yet there from Chase. Oh, oh totoo yan. And uh, having 17 attempts, uh, that usually you're gonna get really, you're really gonna get the, the numbers. Pero, alam mo yun, kasi itong right now, ang nakikita, and what I see with Bako or right now is, uh, parang medyo nakafocus lang sila doon sa isang side ng laro, which is their defense na talagang yung in office malaki talaga yung struggle nila, especially doon sa front court lineup nila. Oh, oh no, and uh, with that, you know, we, we've been seeing an ex uh, a good performance outside no, from the perimeter from James Quirkate, although efficiency nga, nagkukulang, pero we are looking for a few players to step up dito sa Bacoor, and they, they have been uh, missing for quite some time. Due for an explosion, Marky, Michael Cañete, Jaimer Hamito, and Jamo Igilos, pretty much yung entire front line nila ang kailangan dito for Bacoor to come up big against Justin Batasar company. Oh, uh, which is uh, ayun yung in, gusto kong ma makita po it coach Alex Angeles was able to address na itong mga big guys na to hindi niya kailangan na dumepensa lang. Kailangan maging threat din. They need to give problems dun sa front line also ng Pampanga. Well, from the Bacoor side, syempre, no Marky considered the leader of this team. Jammer Hamito brought in to reinforce that front line and uh, you know Pagpasok nila dito, alam mong they were built for the long haul no? sa kahabaan ng season natin. And Jaymo Igilos also started late. Pero ang laking bagay niya nang pinasok siya dito for Bacor. And for more on these players, let's go to Sydney Crespo. Ang ganda nung sinabi mo si Delph, no? Kaya kung experience nga ang pag-uusapan, wala nang pagkukulang dito si na Marky, Jaymo Igilos at Mike Cañete. Pero aminado silang lahat na iba na ang level of competition hindi lamang sa national finals kundi sa buong MPBL. Balikan natin ang game 2 no. First time nilang maglaro sa Brent Sigeo Convention Center ngayong season na ito at maaari nga daw isa ito sa mga rason kung bakit nahirapan sila sa larong iyon. Aminado naman sila at paulit-ulit si coach Alex na totoo ang 6 man. Pero balik tayo kay La Marky. Laging sinasabi ni Kuya Mark na sa magandang tinatanim ay may ibubunga kaya nga daw sana ngayong gabi yung offensive rebounding at depensa nila ang magbunga naman. Habang kay Jaymo ang nabang Ang niya, gusto niya mas maging decisive sa kanyang decision making. Guys? Thank you so much, Sydney. So, well, our players are very much aware kung kailangan, anong kailangan nilang gawin dito, Coach Dewey, for Game 3. Oh, Coach, so that, that's the biggest thing na nawawala right now with how they perform compared nung elimination si Del, tsaka nitong finals. Oh, oh no, and syempre, you know, two players that have really made their mark this season para sa kanika nilang team, no? especially ito si uh, John Nermal. And, you know, part of that uh, critical first team, our most improved player as well. Uh, looks like he's bound for bigger things. Ito naman si Archie Concepcion with his string of performance is also bound for bigger things. You know, 13 points si Archie in game 2, 6 now si John Ermal. But John Ermal playing at home, we'll see kung ano mangyayari dito. And Archie and John are with our Mika Abisamis. Archie, alam ko kung gaano ka-importante itong laro na to para sa'yo. Perfect kayo sa loob ng Brenzy Giao Convention Center. Pero ngayong gabi, nandito tayo sa Strike Gymnasium. Anong paalala ni Governor Delta Pineda sa inyo? Basta, yun nga po, uh, home court po nila. Uh, basta focus lang po kami sa game plan namin. Uh, tsaka, yun nga po, dala namin yung Pampanga po dito. And pride ng uh, bilang Kapampangan and puso ng Kapampangan, yun po. At napag-usapan mo mga kapampangan, iniintay nila na iuwi nyo ang corona sa San Fernando. Anong gusto mo sabihin sa kanila, Archie? Uh, karang kaong kabalen, uh, dakal dakal po salamat kayong support tayo. Uh, panikuanan miya pong uli yung trophy kayong Pampanga po. dakal dakal po salamat. Maraming salamat, Archie Concepcion. Jan, isa sa tests ng isang team, no, yung close games. At nung game 2, tatlo lang ang lamang ng Pampanga sa inyo. Ano ang reminder ni Coach Alex, lalo na para sa crucial minutes? Uh, yun nga, nung game 1, medyo malaki yung lamang. Uh, yung game 2, tatlo lang. So, yung game 3 na to, kukunin namin yung lamang naman. Kami naman ang lalamang. Uh, bibigay namin yung best namin para makuha yung lamang. John, game 1, 16 points ka. Game 2, 6 points ka lang. Paano ka naghanda mentally and physically para sa larong ito? Uh, yun nga, enjoy ko lang yung game na to. Uh, bibigay ko lahat ng best ko para sa team uh, makuha yung panalo. Anong gusto mo sabihin sa lahat ng taga-Bakoor na nandito ngayon sa loob ng Strike Gymnasium? Uh, sa lahat ng mga taga-Bakoor, Salamat sa inyong suporta. Ah, uh, ibibigay namin ang best namin hanggang sa tuloy paglaban namin ng Bacoor. Salamat. Maraming salamat, John Nermal. It's going to be the Pampanga Giant Lanterns versus the Bacoor City Strikers for game 3 of your national finals. Richard Tampos, let's go.
It's great to see you here at the Stride Gym, the marching band the capital of the Philippines, Bagoor City, Cavite. Welcome to game three of the best of five, Manny Pacquiao's MPBL 2023 National Finals with Pampanga Trial Lanterns 2-0 lead against your Bacoor Strikers. Let's carry on the starters first. They are one win away to claim their first MPBL National Crown. The North Division Champions, Pampanga Giant Lanterns, AMG 3 Construction. Guard number 13, Kurt Rison. The other guard number 18, and Joe Serrano. And forward number 43, Alan Liwag. Also at forward number 29, the Spider-Man, Arwin Santos. And at center number 19, Justin Balti, Baltazar. The head coach is Pampanga Honorable Governor, Dennis Delta Pineda. Assisted by Pedic de Matulak. Coaching consultants are Brandon Dizon, Mervin Mercado and Alan Trinidad. Assistant team managers Ronald Nulud and Raymond Guevara. Team manager and team owner is Aurelio A.G. Gonzalez III. And now, strike first, strike fast, strike them all. The South Division champions, your Bagoor City Strikers, Philbet.com. Number one, Craniel Viloria. Number three, the Iron Claw, Apanapandos. Mike Cañete, your very own from Bayana, number six, Lester Reyes, number nine, Aaron Heruta, number 17, Alwin Aldai, 19, Decoy Lopez, 20, Joel Liu, 24, Jimboy Pastoran. 28, Chito Jaime. 81, Jammer Hamito. Now the starting five, the man in the middle, number eight, Jamo Aguilos. Two guard, number 15, the quick James Fox. James Quekute. Point guard number 16 from Das Marinas, Cavite, Ivan Ludubice. Small forward number 29, the elastic man, John Nermal. Power forward number 52 from Barangay Mambog, Mark Yee. The head coach is Alex Angeles. His assistants are R.B. Mangahas, Chris Cabina, Jigs Guadamore, Marlo Corbin, the skyscraper Marlo Aquino, Big Mac Antaya, and Royce Cuevas. Assistant team manager Lawrence San Jose. Coaching consultants are Cap P.J. Aganus, Willie Generalao, and Chris Conway. Team manager and co-team owner Dennis Sabella. The team owners are Mr. Jake Abal Revilla and Bahor City. Honorable Mayor Strike Revilla. Now both teams at the center court for the sportsmanship handshake. The game officials are a crew chief. Alan Manzano, umpire one, Benjo Estroga, umpire two, Severino Pingol Jr. Fourth man is Donald Belnas. This game is under the supervision and regulation of the game, and amusement sport. The starting five for the visiting Pampanga Giant Lanterns, Kurt Rayson, Encho Serrano, Alan Liwag, Arwin Santos, and 
the MVP, Justin Baltasar. For Bacoor, slight change in the starting lineup. Ivan Ludovice inserted into the first five. Kasama na si James Krakete, another former San Veda Red Lion. Jamo Igilos Marquis and John Nermal completing the five for Coach Alex Angeles. Uh, a great balance for both uh, uh, teams, uh, said that the starters. You know, these are heavy guys. Uh, pero ang sinasabi ko dito, yung balance ng experience and youth. So, let's see kung, ang, kung sino ang importante na makasimula ng malakas itong uh, Bacoor Strikers. Ball is up and we are underway in game three. It's uh, Pampanga winning the tip. They are in white. Liwag inside and he scores over Marquis for the first basket of the ball game. Two oh. to nothing for the Giant Lanterns. Oh, and and this, that, that was established already, King. Justin being the point of attack. Lagi nitong uh, Pampanga. And uh, you know what's good? Com Nagko-complement na yung mga players around him. Eh. Like uh, in that last play. That is off. Justin Baltasar. Ludovice trying to play the two-man game with uh, Jemo Igilos. A baseline inbound right here. With eight seconds in the shot clock for Bacoor. Here's Nermal. Fires a three. That's good. John Nermal. And that's the best way to start the game for Yeah, Bacoor. exactly. And that's one thing na Pampanga should, should be wary of. Okay, remember, itong uh, strikers na to, when they played Batangas in that finals matchup in Southern Division Game 1 dito, they won big versus the Embassy Chill. Rayson knocks down the three. And Kurt Rayson has returned with a bang for para dito sa Pampanga Giant Lanterns. Best player of the game in that series opener with 22 points and he opens the game with a three. Oh. Ner Nermal, Ludovice pulls up, jumper, too strong. Ludovice gets his own miss, another chance, no. Yi, putback is good. Yeah, that's two offensive rebounds right away in one possession for the strikers, which is, sa akin sa Delft, ayun yung missing talaga doon sa kanilang laro in both game, game one and game two. Baltasar, there's a double team and a whistle against Grekete. And Justin Baltasar just causing a lot of problems, Dito, for Bacoor. Every time he has that basketball, and with the way that he has matured and has developed his game, and Dami Pwedding Mangyari, the possibilities are endless. Uh -huh. And you know, the versatility of that guy. Uh, and uh, right now, which leaves and gives ito sila Rayson a lot of space to operate. Kasi hindi ka pwede, hindi mo, hindi mo pwede pabayaan si Balti. Eh. And you can't easily defend him a single coverage. Oh, oh. Nermal against Baltasar. Lost the handle. There's a whistle. Kurt Rayson. Baltasar providing the pick, foot on the line para kay Kurt Rayson. Always love that elevation and that jump shot. Oh, Kurt and, Rayson. And, uh, you know, credit also to Justin again for setting that screen. Again, uh, it's not just a go-to player. A go-to player that sets screens, that helps his teammate. Let's uh, bring in Andre and Disha for a report on the Pampanga Giant Lanterns. Kanina nakausap ko ang isa sa mga assistant coaches ng Pampanga na si Coach Pedic Di Matulak at nabanggit niya sa akin na ang number one reminder daw ni Coach Gov Delta Pineda sa buong team kahit nasa atin ang momentum at advantage, treat it as a do or die game. We can't afford na makakuha pa ng kumpiyansa ang Bacoor. If this reaches game four or even game five, mahihirapan na daw sila. Kaya naman to ensure that everything is in accordance to the system, alam niyo ba na grabe pala ang disiplina ng mga players dito sa Pampanga. Everyone is monitored every after practice or game diretso sa bahay para Magpas, magpahinga. Kailangan mag-report kung nasa na sila o anong ginagawa nila. Iniiwasan daw kasi ng management ang early celebration. Mawala sa focus at mag-relax ang mga players with that hope na matapos na nila ang series na ito ngayong gabi. Back to you guys. Maraming salamat, Andrea. And uh, syempre, 
Uh, Kirk Grayson, by the way, has uh, been uh, scorching hot early in this ball game. Here he is, 10 points. Kurt Grayson. Yeah, you just mentioned that. So that uh, actually, in return, ni Kurt Grayson in the line of the line of the line turns. I mean, your three-point field goal shooting nila had improved tremendously, uh -huh. and that's because of him. Oh, Evandro Davise! What a shot right there, Baltasar could not bank it in. Nermal with a rebound. And the good news for Bacoor is that they're not having a hard time scoring early on. Oh, oh. and again, of extra possession, offensive rebound. And uh, Iguilas forced that one. Recote was open on the left side. Oh, oh. and you know, even if Iguilas missed that shot, alam mo yun, ang importante is nag pinagtatrabaho niya si Baltasar. Eh. That's true, and Rayson misses on that teardrop right there. Heat check para sa kanya. Ludovice. The kick out to Brecate. Fires a three. Yes! Ang ganda, Coach Dui. Parang one big punch after another early. Walang jab jab. Oh, and again, they need to do it. Okay, not just here in the first quarter. They need to do it to Delph. Hanggang dulo again. They cannot just play good for tonight. They need to be great. If they wanted, alam mo yun, na mabuhay pa. And, uh, you know, their backs are against the wall already. They're 2-0 down. One more win for Pampanga. And that's it for the Bacor Strikers. Three-point shot of the game brought to you by Extreme. One-stop shop appliances. And James Krekate hit five three-pointers in game two. Gets going early. And, you know, going back to Andrea's report earlier, ang, ang alam ko, Pampanga stayed overnight already dito sa area. No? Para magapaghanda sila. They didn't need to travel today. Malaking bagay yun. Oo, malaking bagay yun. Alam mo yun, naka-relax naka, naka na kayo. And uh, at least, kahit isang beses, naka-practice kayo doon sa venue na paglalaroan nyo. And Ermal collects the rebound. Nasa laro na si Aaron Hiruta. Hiruta, the runner. Wala. Rebound, Baltasar. Eruta trying to make life difficult para kay Kurt Rayson. Wow, exhilarating action in the first five minutes of this ball game. Let's go straight to our keys to the game para dito sa Pampanga Coach Louis. Again, uh, okay, keys for that for this uh, Pampanga Giant Dance is, is again consistently control the boards. Games one and two, they were they out rebounded. Etong uh, Bacoor Strikers, composure and poise. Alam mo yun, they need to expect the unexpected, which is right now. Kita kita natin si Del. Kailangan nilang makontrol etong uh, st strong start ni tong uh, Bacoor Strikers and their defensive tenacity, which they showed not just in the first two games but all throughout ni tong playoffs natin sa MPBL. Yeah. And, uh, of for Bacoor. Now, confidence and grit. Usually, the keys to victory is natin, ang pinapakita natin, yung mga measurable eh. Pero right now, confidence and grit, kasi parang pakiramdam ko, kailangan bumalik sa, sa old self itong uh, Bacoor strikers, yung identity nila. Untuck the interior, make the bigs nitong Pampanga work. And lastly, ito, malaking bagay ito, less 50. Less 50 possessions, Less 50 also in rebounding numbers. Oh, oh. and uh, yeah, they have struggled to get possessions against this Papanga team. Ikita mo ano kanina. It was already, it felt like already a, a defensive stop. Mm -hmm. But because of the size of the team, eh, Alin Liwag securing the two points. Pa rin. Oh, oh. And uh, you know, sa akin, ito yung mga inner heroes right now nitong uh, Giant Lanterns. Eh, game one. Alam mo yun, Justin is there consistently. Pero alam mo sa Delph yung mga yung mga pakiramdam ni coach na ni coach Gov Delta yung mga lucky picks niya. Game one was Kurt Rayson. Game two is Archie Concepcion. So tignan natin kung sino naman yung magiging bagantang pakiramdam niya ngayon. Now, even uh, 
even Jason Apolonio played well in game two. And uh, for, uh, let's go to City Crespo uh, for a report on Bacor. We are going home. Ito ang mga unang salitang lumabas kina Coach Alex Angeles at Boss Dennis Abelia matapos nilang matalo ng Game 2. The first two games of this series felt like an eternity nga daw. Pero imbes na mag-focus sa masakit na pagkatalo, excited na silang makita ang mga Bacooreño. James Cuecote was emotional in the dugout after that loss and he says it reminds him a lot of his last playing year in San Beda. That's why tonight he confidently said he won't be afraid to take the lead. And with that, Coach Alex Angeles and Coach RP Mangas had to prepare their guards well on certain cue, timings, and confidence in order to have more touches in this game. They said they are on the right track because they were able to limit the usual high scoring of Pampanga. Let's see if they will strike fast and wisely tonight, guys. Maraming salamat, Sydney, and uh, you know, the different players you know, trying to change the narrative of their careers also of the, in, in this finals. You know, James Grecote it was not successful in his final years with San Beda. They're trying to change that script here with Bacoor. And, and Champre, if you're Bacoor and you've really spent a lot of your season here at home, Champre, you know, you, you know, this is a welcome sight for you. You know, people wearing blue here at the strike gym. Oh, oh and uh, you know, where, where you are com comfortable. Home sweet home, Ika nga for the Bacor strikers right now. And uh, going back to uh, uh, James Cuecote, he said that, you know, that's the maturity niya rin as a competitor. Alam mo, playing with a bigger purpose. Uh, Magdi-deliver siya dun sa team na nagtitiwala sa kanya. That's true. Apolonio collects the defensive rebound off that marquee miss. Yeah, great. Alam mo yan, first time ko nakita magkalaban ito lalo sa Delphi. And uh, uh, yung match-up, napakaganda. Hindi lang doon sa skills ng mga players, even yung height. Halos magkakapantay magkahalos din lahat. Well, except pag nandyan si Baltasar at si Liwag. Oh. <laughs> well, at the, at the one to three spot, medyo pantay-pantay sila. Oo, oh, oh. and uh, you know, before, si J. Egulus used to be the tallest. One of the tallest players here in the MPBL. Bagsak si Leo on that spin move. But Concepcion could not convert. Aaron Heruta gets it to Jamo. That's an open jumper para kay Jamo Aguilos. Uh -huh. Okay, sweetest spot yan para kay Jamo Aguilos. Four points now para kay Jamo Aguilos. Bayo. Baltasar puts it in. Yeah, great feed from JB Bayo. Too big, too much. And uh, off that flex action, palagang uh, mahirap doon. Hindi mo naman pwedeng i-deny si uh, Justin kasi open yung inside lane eh. So you need to cover a bit. Daniel Veloria. Iguilos will take the jumper and knock it down again. Mahio, now with Jason Apolonio, MJ Garcia, there's a double team, almost a steal, Apolonio will fire, no, and Baltasar oh. misses the putback, nakuha uh, Marquis ang rebound, that's his fourth rebound of the ball game, Aaron Hiruta, under two minutes remaining in the first period, uh -huh. Hiruta, yeah, Lost it to Baltazar. Yeah, too much rippling there. Concepcion, a lot of contact, no call. And the putback from MJ Garcia is good. Uh oh, and you know it's not going to be easy. Especially oh. Joel Liu. That's a foul. Uh oh, so you need nothing but Sorry, ah. Huh? <laughs> Akala natin. Let go. Eh. No. <laughs> Pero ako kitang kita mo na talagang, uh, you know that knowing Joel Liu, that he's his role. He cannot just let go of an na itong open lay up para kay RG Concepcion. RG Concepcion at the line. Our referee crew for game three, Alan Manzano, Benji Estroga, Seb Pingo Jr., and the fourth man, Jojo Belnas. 
Archie got some short coming alive. Game two. with the insertion of uh, Cañete right now and uh, Jamie Ramito. Ito yung crucial uh, for the strikers is these two. Because if these two can deliver, I mean, malaki chance nila makala makapag-compete against the Giant Lantern. The Davise, Ramito gets it back. Jammer. Wala. Agawan sa rebound. Ends up with MJ Garcia. Garcia on the run. Lost it. Concepcion. Pampanga retakes the lead, 20 to 18. Lee Yu with a jumper, yes! He's been steady in the finals, si Joey Lee Yu. Huh? No. And, uh, you know, he, 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 he didn't adapt to sa kanyang, uh, Skill, eh. yung finishing, yung mga point blank shot. And look at the hustle there, Joey Liu. Shadelf, honestly, I can hardly hear you. <laughs> Me, same here. <laughs> well, Joey Liu made a beautiful move going behind the back. Getting a speed set for that jumper. Uh, JB Bahio at the line. This is the first. 39 seconds remaining. 0 for 2 for Bahio. Now, Michael Cañete. Strikers can go for the two for one here. Oh. oh. Daniete will fire. Voila. Archie Concepcion with a rebound. And again, itong these two, needs to take the chance. Habang nasa bench pa si Justin Baltasar. Because this is the best time for them to get their confidence back in. Apolonia wants a clear out. Asking for Apolonia from way out. Short. The Davise has time. Opening 10 minutes of game three, living up to the hype. No tomorrow for Bako Or. And they're playing like they want to save their season. Ito naman si Kurt Grayson. Looks like he is in a hurry to lift that trophy. 10 points for Grayson. 10 out of the 20 for Pampanga. But the Bacor City Strikers putting up a brave fight. They don't want to end the finals tonight. Jamo Iguilos with six points in the quarter. And we end the opening period of game three at 20 apiece.
Second quarter action, needless a strike, Jim. And Bacor, this is game three of your 2023 MPBL National Finals. Two to nothing. Lamang ang Papanga Giant Lanterns. Michael Cañete, air balls the three. A rebound to Luis Sangalang. Nakakapasok lang sa laro. Kasabay niya si MJ Garcia, John Lloyd Clemente, Justin Bantasar. Yeah, yeah imp important siya del for Michael Cañete para not to get his confidence back, especially at this time. And uh, again, you just have to to deliver. Kasi yung tiwala naman ni Coach Alex Angeles nandun pa rin eh. And he'll play a vital, vital part for this one. Again, let's see the first quarter field goals. 8 out of 16, 50%. Itong Pampanga Giant Lanterns. Pero surprisingly, alam mo, 8 of 21. Mas marami ng possession naman itong uh, Baco or Strikers. That's good news for Bacoor, and uh, but also shows you how much ground they need to make up. Lumamang nga sila sa attempts and rebounding, eh tabla pa rin. Oh, oh. Good step short, short on the three. Lodovice, binigay kay Lee Yu. Back to Ivan, they get the switch, Lodovice. That's a push of Jammer Amito. This is one thing that uh, okay, right now slowed them down. At the start, Sedel, yes, they're shooting three-pointers, pero ang daming inside-out, eh, inside-out yung possession. Galing from the inside, ilalabas, titira ng three points. Pero itong uh, second quarter, right away, hinahanap agad nila yung three points. Eh, and uh, it, this, it will not help them. Well, they got to get into the flow of their offense. Exactly. Here's DU. Veloria, Ludovice, Caniete for three. That's short. But Tassar saves it to Concepcion. Alam mo, straight line eh. And John Lloyd Clemente banks it in. Oh, oh. And uh, JLC, in this series, alam mo yun, quality minutes. Ang binibigay niya talaga para sa kumpunan niya. Uh, two of nine already for Baco Orr from beyond the arc, so... The three has not been there, pero Ivan Rodovice says, wait a minute. You know, and uh, that's one thing that you wanted. Okay. It's the right timing when to shoot that three-pointer. But the thing is, yan lang din ang binibigay sa kanila, coach. Eh. Oh. A big block by Cañete. Bacor on the break. Veloria lays it in. And... And again, babalikan ko, who made that play responsible? Michael Cañete. And who was the recipient in that fast break? It was Viloria na kailangan mabuhay. Kasi they, they played well uh, during the start of playoffs and this regular season. Pero kailangan sila right now ni Coach Alex na makapag-perform. Uh, big block right there. Michael Cañete also gets the loose ball, triggers the fast break. And an easy two para kay Cranion Veloria. Joel Liu. Jaime pops out, fires. No. He's been playing well in the final. Six rebounds for Batasar. Serrano on the spin. Oh, oh, and you don't give Encho Serrano that clear lane. Because he's not going to think twice. And instead, he will attack strong all the way. Like just what happened. Watch this. Aicho Serrano. If you don't put a body in front of him, and then the Aicho talaga yan. Oh, oh, totoo yan na Sedel. That's a beautiful fast break. Finished by Aicho Serrano. Grayson is back in the game. Serrano. 
Gets it to Racer. Plenty of time on the shot clock. That's a foul on uh, Rivando De Vise. Uh, Great Racer. Just a handful. You handles the grabby. Oh, and uh, especially mas mahirap sa Del kasi nakapag-start siya ng uh, maayos eh. So, right now, you cannot take your chances already kasi uh, yung confidence ni uh, Kurt Rayson buo-buo na agad eh. Hey, Luis Sanga lang. Yeah. That's an air ball for Luis Sanga lang but alam naman natin he can Get going really quick. Oh, oh. May championship pedigree rin na sa Del. Nermal, the one-hander, is good. Again, attack the interior. Kasi th that's the way, that's the only way for them to stop yung rampage ito nga Giant Lanterns. Especially in the open court. Let them work inside. Three-point lead for the strikers is John Nermal getting the separation he needed and uh, not much JLC can do there. And how about it was John Nermal. The strikers call a ceasefire to the action. They're up by three with six minutes left in the second period. Lee Yu with a jumper, yes! This move of the game is brought to you by Nexus 88 Gaming. watching the MPBL. Coach Gov Delta Pineda said na ang game na ito daw ang kanilang biggest obstacle this season. Nabanggit nyo nga kanina ang importansya of going to the venue early to prepare and practice but unfortunately, due to unforeseen circumstances, hindi nila ito nagawa dito sa strike gym. Nonetheless, sabi ni Coach Gov, sa Pampanga, there is no room for fear. Puso at tapang lang. Bilang tinaguri ang Giant Lanterns, bawal daw ang pundido sa team niya. He believes that everyone will shine as they play with pride. Aside from pride, Faith is also there. Sa katunayan dala ni Coach Gob ang kanyang lucky rosary. Nasabi niya sa lahat daw ng championship title niya, dala niya ang rosary na ito. Before stepping into the court, pinahawak niya lahat ng players niya sa kanyang lucky charm. Back to you guys. Thank you so much, Sid. As uh, Rayson misses on the three and uh, alam mo to si uh, Coach Gob Delta. Just an icon. Honestly. Legend, the living legend, and all that he's done for Pampanga basketball and for the province. And not just ano, ah, basketball, ah, but the uh, you know, public service, eh, iba klase. Oh, oh, alam mo yun yung family nila sa Delph. Uh, he really is a big help for, the, for their province. And uh, again, if right naman skate, ako ay naglalaro pa. If I'm gonna play for this guy, he's an inspiration eh, sa Delph. Eh. So, talagang, uh, you, he's gonna get like, no, nothing less than. 100% galing ka sa kanya mga malalaro. Oo. The turnovers, 5-4. Uh, to four. Bakor with the 5. Rayson oh, backs it in for 3. Again, it's pure confidence at all. 13 points for Kirk Rayson. That's 3-3 three, three pointers already. Jim Boy Pastoran is in the game. Jaime fires, no good. Rebound, John Lloyd Clemente. Uh, zero out of two for uh, Tito Jaime. Serrano fires, too strong. Rebound, Luis Angalang. And he's he's been out of sync. Ito si uh, Luis Angalang. And credit also to the defense and uh, pressure, uh, Michito Jaime. 
Starting down the three-point shot of the game, brought to you by Extreme One Stop Shop Appliances. Kurt Rayson, he's been hitting threes in a variety of ways. That time off the pick from uh, Justin Baltasar. Nermal fires too strong. Jaime is there for the offensive rebound. Again, not okay, they not they need to attack the interior. Don't fall on oh, yung mga malala yung tira kasi it will trigger fast break like this like this one. So lucky break lang. Here's Rayson. No look pass inside. Echo Serrano. Great find there. It's one way to silence this Bako Or crowd. A place like that from Kurt Racer. 29 to 27. Nermal again. No. And Batasar with his eighth rebound of the ball game. And you know, after that timeout, Sedel, it's all, it's all three point attempt. Mostly for, for the la, for the strikers, tatlo galing at dalawa galing kay Nermal. Alam mo, ang tumira pa sa loob, yung pinakamaliit nila si Jimboy Pastoran eh. Terrific job from Chito Jaime, standing his ground against Adin Liwag. And that forced the turnover. And what about this pass from Kurt Rayson? Terrific assist. Para kaya Encho Serrano was looking away. And caught the defense snapping and nakita mo dito yung, yung chemistry and uh, the cohesion of the team. Na to. Uh, oh, yung, uh, ayun, 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 they really had developed that. Uh, tumagal, lumakas yung team, pero mas gumaling. Eh. And uh, again, I keep on mentioning that uh, misan kasi it can, it can hit you both ways. Eh. Pero it hit them dun sa positive side, itong uh, Giant Lantern. And uh, also, coming at the right time um, in... Uh, the playoffs and in the finals. And you cannot credit, give credit also. Ito siguro yung Dodo Arwen is there, pero you know, yung leadership na binibigay niya, yung, yung knowledge na binibigay niya, at sinishare niya dito sa mga, sa mga batang players ng uh, Giant Lanterns. Very evident sa Del. May kita mo doon sa, yung result sa body languages ng mga players nila. We have a timeout. 29-27. We'll be right back. Kabayan ko ng mga Bako Orinio, isa ang inyong Bako City Strikers sa mga kupunan na lumalaban sa South Division Finals. Salamat po sa inyong pagsuporta sa kanila, lalong-lalo na kapag sila ay lumalaban sa Strike Gym. Patuloy niyo po lang tagilikin at suportahan ang MPBL Liga ng bawat Pilipino. Maraming maraming salamat po sa inyo. So quick, JC Marcelino block by Garmal! na pag-usapan namin ni Boss Dennis Abelia yung laking tulong at pagbabago ng season na ito para sa buong Bacoor. They always have basketball and volleyball clinics here but he recognizes the good impact and influence of winning the South Division Trophy. From the growth of their Facebook followers of at least 30,000 new fans to them filling up tonight's venue ng 5pm pa lang kanina. Thankful si Boss Dennis that this was made possible by a team na hindi naman niya sinasadyang buuin. He admitted that he never saw James play prior to him flying back here from Canada. Gamble lang daw yun. Siyempre si Namarki na galing sa ibang team last season. Sabi nga niya, worth it lahat ng effort, pagod at resources. Now tonight, whatever happens, he knows this squad inspired the youth of Bacoor. Yun naman ang purpose natin dito, di ba, sa Delphin Coach Louie? That's true, Sydney. And uh, uh, full credit to this uh, Bacoor management, the franchise, yung supporta ni, ni uh, Constructor Villa. Alam mo yung, uh, you know, Boss Dennis Abelia, yung I ibang klase, ibang, ibang fulfillment naman yun. You know, winning on the court is different and winning off the court, I think, is a lot more important as well. Uh, you know, the purpose stays eh, and uh, for them to be more successful. I mean, you're staying in the purpose and uh, that's one thing na nagawa nitong uh, organization, itong uh, ng Bacoor Strikers. Not just for them to win, alam mo yun, for the constituents also to appreciate. Uh, hey, Ruta. Joined by Yi, Nermal, Igilos, and Krekate on the floor. Aaron Heruta forcing the issue, trying to get a foul there. 
and said that, you know, after that post uh, flo- layup ni uh, John Darmal, itong uh, strikers uh, scoreless na. Intis ang tres ni Serrano. Back comes Bacor. Iguilos banks it in. Nakuha pa siya ng foul on Arwin Santos. I was about to say that they've set up into a lot of two-man action. Oh, like uh, sa unang action palang nila, dudiretso na sila kagat sa kanilang play. But this time, it was successful as Jamo Igilos absorbs the contact and puts it in for two. Oh, kasi ang problema, uh, yeah, they go to their early early ball screen nila. Pero ang nangyari, ang option nila is to take the long bomb. Hindi, hindi nila tini- pinagbibigyan yung, yung mga roller yung, uh, for them to get higher percentage shot. Kung baga hindi na inihayaan na uh, mag-develop pa yes. ang opensa nila. And you cannot do that against this uh, Pampaka Giant Lander team. This team is so athletic and you know that they're so athletic, they're gonna win those three balls and they're gonna run you out. Now, Ronan Santos is in the game. Encho Serrano, pinapatayan ni Quekete. Encho, nice fake. Encho lays it in! What a move right there para kay Encho Serrano. And Quekete was right at his grill. Egilos wants a clear out. Nermal, there's plenty of time on the shot clock. Inabatayan ni Liwag. Nermal, oh, what a smart move. Oh, oh. And you know, you know, he know, he knows that he has a foot speed advantage versus Allen Liwag. And uh, you know, habang tini dribble, nakita kita niya na parang medyo nagwawari si Allen. Eh. So kung buo yung loob na umainatake. So let's see this uh, move by Enzo Serrano. Ang ganda ng up fake. And a soft touch to lay it in. Encho Serrano. Eight points now for John Nermal. And you know, this is good. more of the normal na John oh, Nermal. Normal Nermal. <laughs> <laughs> and really, really struggled in the first two games today. Really struggled. A two for two for John Nermal. Laki bagay yung ano, laki bagay yung unang puntos ni John Nermal. Eh. First uh, shot niya went in right away. Serrano. I like, Spits the D. Yeah, I like that play being run by uh, the Giant Lantern. A uh, couple of putbacks not going in the way of Pampanga and the ball goes back to Bacoor with under a minute remaining. Oh, uh, and if you're Coach Delta, you're gonna happy with that execution. Kasi kung di ka ready dun si Del, talagang uh, easily makaka, makakatira ng komportable itong si Rayson and uh, Enzo Serrano. Yeah, Bacoor wants to set things right in their uh, the last minute of the first half. We're tied at 31. We'll be right back. Panga Giant Lanterns, uh, kung meron ang Bacoor na kailangan uh, mag-step up, meron din naman ang Pampanga, you know, Enzo Serrano uh, had a few moments in game two, but uh, syempre, you expect more from Enzo, but John Lloyd Clement, I, I, I honestly pwede naman siya eh. Pwede yes. na naman pinanilalaro niya and of, of course, Kurt Grayson. Eh ngayong gabi, maganda ang uh, pinapakita ni Kurt Grayson. Oh, and that's been with, that's how yung Tumatak po talaga sa Delta. Yung rotation ni uh, Coach Delta. Whoever's hot, he supports. And right now, okay, that guy is Kurt Rayson. Oh, oh. But alam mo yung may John Lloyd Clemente ka na binibigyan ka ng 7 points. 
you know, there, there are times na hindi mo naman kailangan malaking production nila. You just need everyone to contribute. Exactly. And uh, sa akin kasi with John Lloyd Clemente, uh, sa Delph, yung impact nung kanyang uh, seven points. Saan nangyayari yun? Metro Serrano. They go down low to Liwak. Makes his move. Blocked by Marquis. Great defense there by Marquis. Oh my goodness. At 6-7, Allen Liwak denied by the veteran Marquis. Well, let's see. Mapanga with a chance for the last shot of the quarter. They forced that one. Arwin is denied. A big defensive plays here. Rampapanga, Santos for three. Voila. And my goodness. Wow. What a first half. Nine deadlocks, eight lead changes. And we're also tied at 31 to end the first two quarters of game three. This is as tight as it could get the ating MPBL National Finals. Uh oh, I know at the end of the day, like we, we, we've talked about, at the start, Chadel, Pampangan really needs to earn it. They gave it, Pampangor will make them earn it. Yeah, absolutely. And uh, we go into the break. We need this. But this is not need. Kurt Rayson came to play tonight. Much like in game one, 13 points, three of four from beyond the arc, and that assist as well from Enzo Serrano, providing a highlight to an outstanding first half for Kurt Rayson. We're tied at 31 here at the Strike Gym in Bakuor. This is game three of your 2023 MPBL National Finals. Balikan muna natin ang game two to this MPBL recap. Welcome to your MPBL recap dito sa Brenzi Giao Convention Center. Kakatapos lang ng Game 2 ng uh, Best of 5 MPBL National Finals. And Javi, Pampanga Giant Lanterns taking a 2 to nothing lead after a thrilling finish dito sa Game 2. Yeah, but this was a much different game compared to Game 1 where the Pampanga Giant Lanterns led almost from the start to the finish. Bakoor was only able to grab the lead at the very start of Game 1, but here they fought tooth and nail throughout the match and no team leading by more than 7 points in this one. In fact, Bakoor had a big chance to steal this game in the end game. Kaya lang, they were not able to knock down those shots to tie the ball game and send it into overtime. Well, Justin Baltasar, coronation night para sa kanya and he, he finished with 13 points. A great performance again for Balti, but Archie Concepcion Siya yung nanguna dito, especially in that fourth quarter. Those crucial baskets, nine points on the, the fourth. And uh, siya talaga, ang, uh, yung mga baskets niya talaga yung nagpropel sa Pampanga to take this W. That's correct. You know, both of them had 13 points, talking about Archie Concepcion and Balti Baltazar. But Archie, he scored 11 in the second half. And his baskets were very timely every time the Bacor City strikers had a chance to come back, tie the game, and maybe even get the lead. His baskets were very crucial for Pampanga to take control and still hold the lead in their favor. Oh, and the series moves on to Bacoor on Saturday kung saan ang strikers will try to stay alive in the series. Kokoronahan na kaya ang Pampanga sa Sabado. Malalaman natin yan. Ito po si Delph Tupas. Sama si Javi Palanya para sa inyong MPBL Recap.
Strike Gymnasium for Game 3 of your national finals. And for now, I am joined by a very special guest, ang founder ng ating minamahal na liga, Senator Manny Pacquiao. Good evening po, Sen. Malapit na po natin maibigay ang trophy. Pwede pong sa Pampanga, pwede rin namang sa Bacoor. Pero bago po yan, Sen, ano pong gusto niyo sabihin sa lahat ng teams na sumali sa atin sa season na ito? Unang-una, maraming maraming salamat sa lahat ng mga teams na so nagparticipate dito sa season na ito. Uh, Na-appreciate ko yung effort ninyo na talagang sumali kayo kahit galing pa tayo sa pandemya. Maraming salamat at uh, hayaan yung pagbubutihan pa namin yung uh, liga, ang MPBL. Thank you, Sen. Ano naman pong gusto niyo sabihin sa ating mga kaliga na tuluyang sumusuporta sa atin dito? Sa buong sambayan ng Pilipino, maraming maraming salamat po sa inyong walang sawang pagsuporta at pagmamahal sa MPBL, ang liga ng bawat Pilipino, lalong-lalo na sa mga taga-bakor. Maraming maraming salamat at saka lahat ng mga taga-pagpanga. Salamat po sa inyong lahat. Maraming salamat po ang ating minamahal na si Senator Manny Pacquiao. Magbabalik po ang Maharlika Pilipinas Basketball League. Here's Racer. No look pass. It's side. Echo Serrano. This assist of the game is brought to you by Nexus 88 Gaming. Ayan, mainit na ang laban sa 2023 MPBL Finals at dalawang kupunan na lang ang natitira sa National Finals. Kunti na lang at makikilala na natin ang ating bagong kampiyon. Sino kaya sa dalawang team ang, ang mga magcha-champion? Patuloy po nating suportahan at panuorin ang mga natitirang laban sa MPBL, ang Liga ng Bawat Pilipino. Maraming maraming salamat po. Concepcion to Serrano, to Balti, Baltazar down the middle. Basket and one. Five on the shot clock for the strikers. Quick take, bails them out once again. Six points here in the second quarter for James Quick day after. Ancho Serrano spins, Ancho Serrano scores. James Quick day, Cañete, another offensive rebound for the strikers. Forced up a bad one was John Ambaluto. He push shot. That finally goes in. Two-man game up top. Signature Pampanga that is. The ball is back with Encho. Serrano drives. Serrano scores. We're tied at 71. A long while here for the Embassy Chill. At the last second of that, Ludovice, can he go two straight? Yes, he does. Ivan Ludovice. Jacquan with four fouls trying to cover Encho. He passes to JLC. Three-pointer is good!
Ayan, mainit na ang laban sa 2023 MPBL Finals. At dalawang kupunan na lang ang natitira sa National Finals. Punti na lang at makikilala na natin ang ating bagong kampiyon. Sino kaya sa dalawang team ang, ang mga magcha-champion? Patuloy po natin suportahan at panuorin ang mga natitirang laban sa MPBL, ang Liga ng Bawat Pilipino. Maraming maraming salamat. Concepcion to Serrano, to Balti, Baltazar down the middle, basket and one. Five on the shot clock for the strikers, Queco take, bails them out once again. Six points here in the second quarter for James Queco take after. Ancho Serrano spins, Ancho Serrano scores. James Queco take, Cañete, another offensive rebound for the strikers. Forced up a bad one was John Ambaluto. Gi, push shot, that finally goes in. Two-man game up top, signature Pampanga that is. The ball is back with Encho. Serrano drives, Serrano scores. We're tied at 71. A long while here for the Embassy Chill. At the last second of that, Ludovice, can he go two straight? Yes, he does. Ivan Ludovice. Jack Wong with four fouls, trying to cover Encho. He passes to JLC. Three pointer is good. Ayan, mainit na ang laban sa 2023 MPBL Finals at dalawang kupunan na lang ang natitira sa National Finals. Kunti na lang at makikilala na natin ang ating bagong kampiyon. Sino kaya sa dalawang team ang, ang mga magcha-champion? Patuloy po natin suportahan at panuorin ang mga natitirang laban sa MPBL, ang Liga ng Bawat Pilipino. Maraming maraming salamat po. Concepcion to Serrano, to Balti, Baltazar down the middle. Basket and one. Five on the shot clock for the strikers. Queco take, bails them out once again. Six points here in the second quarter for James Queco take after. Ancho Serrano spins, Ancho Serrano scores. James Queco take, Cañete, another offensive rebound for the strikers. Forced up a bad one was John Ambaluto. Gi, push shot, that finally goes in. Two-man game up top, signature Pampanga that is. The ball is back with Encho. 
Set on a drive, set on a score, we're tied at 71. A long while here for the Embassy Chill. At the last second of that, Ludovice, can he go two straight? Yes, he does! Ivan Ludovice. Jack Wong with four fouls, trying to cover Enzo. He passes to JLC, three-pointer is good! They were having their moments in this wall game. Oh, oh flashes of brilliance. Alam mo yon, may mga go-to plays sila na maganda talaga yung pinuntahan, napunta dun sa tamang kamay, especially in the inside. And because I really want them to attack and exploit the interior, kasi dun nagtutus sila na kakaroon ng advantage, especially pag nagpapaynga si Justin Baltasar. Oh, John Ermal, as we mentioned, he's back to normal. He's got nine points in the first half. Jamo Igilos getting eight. And Ivano Davise with five, and James Krakete with three uh, off a three-pointer in that first half. And uh, you know, hindi masyadong lumalayo parehong teams. No, every time one team makes a run, merong uh, response again, and that's why we're, you know, we're, we're locked in this de uh, at 31 all. Balikan natin ang yung keys to the game, uh, Coach Louis. I'm for Papanga. What? No, okay ba sila? With yeah. the performance so far? Yeah, TK, nakabalik sila. Now they're up by uh, one rebound. Controlling the boards, nandun pa rin. Remains their strength. The composure and poise. Ito yung sinasabi ko na, you know, surprisingly, every time Justin Baltasar is at the bench, the more they nagplag pupunta sila dun sa sistema nila. Maraming plays na nangyayari. That's why they're getting, alam mo yung waiting, they're being patient, waiting for the play to develop. Nakakakuha sila ng easy basket. Defensive tenacity. Alam mo yun, at parang feeling ko, 11 points, malimit mo itong Bacoor City in their home court, home turf, kaya you're doing something good. And that's one thing na nakita ko na nagagawa nitong Giant Lanterns. So. Well, as we mentioned, Justin Baltasar, only two points so far in the ball game. Para naman sa Bacoor, what do you think? Oh, uh, confidence and grit. That's, that showed how they started. They started strong, especially with that, that normal three points that opened things up, especially for him, for normal to be normal. Attack the interior. Alam mo naman, marami silang nakukuha sa second chance possession, uh, second possessions, and uh, okay, na, na, na involve si Jamie Ogulos, na involve si John Normal as well. Pero ito, this is still a big challenge right now. Ito Pampanga, 26 rebounds already. So on track sila to sa 50 plus rebounds and possession. Uh -huh. So question mark pa yan. Question mark uh -huh. pa yan. Uh, MJ Garcia missing on the layup to start the third. Aaron Hiruta, Jamo Igilos, James Kekate, Marky, and John Nermal ang lima for Bacoor. Here's Aaron Hiruta, short on that drive. Justin Baltasar, MJ Garcia. Allen Liwag, Archie Concepcion, and Enzo Serrano for Pampanga. Ten rebounds already for Justin Batasar. Concepcion for three. That's short. Batasar, one of seven in the ball game, and that's a turnover. Again, they need. They really need to challenge Balti because uh, uh, one thing that I saw from them in that in that first two games, so so bring respect. Eh. Okay, right now, again. You, normal naman. Good, good, good thing it went out tonight na lumabas yung grit nila. Marky. Great set up there. Uh, a runner won't go for Marky. Serrano. Baltasar. Jumper. No. Eruta grabs the rebound. Takbo ang Bacoor. Oh, he will wait for friends. John Nermal against Encho Serrano. That's a smart play again from John Nermal. And this is the mo... Ito yung evolution ni John Nermal eh. We've seen Alin Liwa kanina. Uh, he had a mismatch in speed. Exploit niya. Ito naman, too aggressive si Encho Serrano, who we know is also a very experienced player. Uh oh, you know, yung maturity na... Who do I play face up or who do I play back down? Uh, ngayon, ngayon, okay, na witness natin 
he knows that he has a height advantage versus Edson Serrano. So he decided na instead na ilaruin niya ng face up, back down na, and forcing Edson Serrano to foul him on the act of shooting. 33 to 31. Two point lead for Bako Or. Alan Liwag puts the ball on the deck. Steal by Nermal. Foul on Alan Liwag. And great anticipation from uh, John Nermal there. Uh -huh. And a great coverage as well para kay uh, J. Mo Egulu. So not letting that play happen. Because kay Pampang has been running that all the time. Yung yung cross screen para kay Justin Baltasar. At uh, na-cover ng maayos ni J. Mo yung kaya that forced Alan Liwag to dribble that basketball. That's a great steal from uh, John Nermal. 33 to 31. I think combine nga sila dun. Si Hiruta meron ding... Uh, tapik dun eh. Oh, oh. They go back to John Nermal against Serrano. Facing up. Chopper is good for Nermal. He's feeling good right now. John oh, Nermal. Oh. Kaya alam mo yun, ibang iba yung aura ni uh, John Nermal ngayon eh. Talagang uh, gabi yung kumpiyansa. Ah, that's the two. Okay. Second turnover by Justin Baltasar in this third quarter. Sa Dal. Well, Bak Baku or making the decision to make him a facilitator to si Justin Batasar. But watch this jumper from John Nermal. Up to 13 points and the fans loving it here in Baku or. Nermal against Serrano. That's an offensive foul. They're clearly... Yeah, too so obvious. <laughs> oh, oh, <and> elbow. <laughs> And to Serrano. Baltasar, the double team, the triple team is there. Concepcion will get the roll. Uh, a great patience there by the by, uh, Archie Concepcion. Off that kick out uh, from uh, Justin Baltasar. Cuecate wants to break down the D. They force that one. Serrano quickly. So Concepcion oh, lost it. Uh, Liwag able to recover. Liwag. That's a blocking foul on Marquis. And you know, that's, what, that's where you appreciate Alan Liwag. Eh. Among the bigs, nitong uh, giant lanterns. If you talk about speed, say meron nun eh. Oo. Oh, oh. Yes, then. Parang my nose for the ball. Eh. Oh. Hey, Ruta with a steal. Bakor doesn't have the numbers. Nermal puts the ball on the deck, challenges the D, and a foul. It will go against Alan Liwak. Uh, again, just be aggressive. Uh, attack on the scramble. That's where itong si Jan Darmal is getting his points. Free throw of the game is brought to by Extreme Appliances and Subok at Kompletong Appliance Brand ng Pilipinas. John Darmal. Ito yung maganda eh, because games one and two at this point, they are they are struggling for points. Sa mga sitwasyon na to, especially pag nakaset yung depensa ng Pampanga. Oo, oh, and uh, okay, Right now, I think okay, with, with the compos composition right now, the Giant Lanterns, the best, the best defense to attack is the defense to Enzo Serrano. Aaron Leo gets it to Garcia. Concepcion, ngayon. great defense there by the uh, strikers. Garcia, that's a tough shot. Liwag is denied. Two big blocks. And we can hardly hear ourselves here. Exactly, Shadel. Oh, John Nermal 
with a rejection. Jamo Igilos with another block. And Bako Or playing like there's no tomorrow. Kurt Rayson is back in the game and Bako Or, five blocks in the game, two more than Pampanga. Rayson, quick trigger. Voila. Yi with a rebound. Nermal again. Nermal fires. Too strong. Baltasar with a rebound. Serrano. Full head of steam. Echo puts it in. And again, you need to show the next guy, especially when Encho has the ball in open court. That's where he is at his finest. Aaron Hiruta spins and backs it in. And again, Nowhere to go, Aaron Hiruta, but somehow finds a way. Oh, Coach Alec knows he needs uh, Aaron Hiruta to perform. Kaya talagang uh, binigay niya na yung chance kay Aaron to start, especially starting in this quarter. Marky, nine rebounds in the ball game. Tracote, free. Yes! James Quacote, second three of the ball game. Again, all goals, all go right now. Okay, for the Bako or Striker Sadel. And James Quacote gives Bakor the biggest lead of the series so far. Seven point lead para dito. The Bakor City Strikers playing to stay alive in the MPBL National Finals. We have a timeout. Magbabalik ang inyong Maharlika Pilipinas Basketball League. Strike Gymnasium for Game 3 of your National Finals. At ngayon, meron tayo mga bisita. No further introduction, Willie Miller and Alex Kabagnot. Maraming salamat. At nandito po kayong mga ginoo ngayong gabi. Willie, napakadami mo nang nasalihan na liga, no? Pero ano ang nagugustuhan mo dito sa MPBL? Uh, Siyempre, yung crowd, yung home court, at saka yung hometown crowd parate. Willie, napakadaming kaliga na paborito kang player. Ano gusto mo sabihin sa kanila? Oh, siyempre, keep on supporting basketball. Yung Pilipinas basketball natin, kailangan natin support at papagandahin natin lalo yung basketball ng Pilipinas. Napakaganda. Maraming salamat, Willie Miller. Alex, you have been in this situation so many times, so many finals games, playoffs games. What would you want to tell the guys in these crucial quarters? Uh, you know, the last third and fourth quarter, just to have fun and try to play the right way. Uh, listen to their coaches and play with their teammates. Alex, I heard from a little bird that we would be seeing you more often here. Is that true? No, I'm actually <laughs> just enjoying the, the atmosphere. It is actually my first MPBL game. So I'm happy for both teams and, and this league is flourishing really well. Thank you very much, Alex Kabagnot. And happy to have you guys here. Balik sa inyo, si Delph, Coach Louis. Maraming salamat, Mika. And it's great to see some legends in the building. Of course, he... Uh, Alex Kapagnot, hindi pa tapos yan, hindi pa nagre-retire yan. And uh, si Mika. Mika really asking the difficult questions, huh? Coach Dewey. Oh, I really had a big big feeling, Sadel, that makikita natin niya si Alex dito sa MPBL. And uh, let's see the scoring run right now. Okay, in this quarter, Bacoor 11. Itong uh, Pampanga naman just scored 4 points. James Quecate 
Whistle for the personal end. Pampanga needs him at the moment. Ito si Encho Serrano to come alive. Oo. Oh, oh. uh, siya talaga yung pupuntahan eh. Siya talaga yung pwedeng puntahan si Del. Uh, let's go to Sydney Crespo for a report on Bacor. Sadelf, you mentioned that Bacor is playing that there's no tomorrow. Well, those are the exact words of Coach Alex in the dugout. Lalong lumalakas ang loob nila na kaya nilang i-extend ang series na ito, no? Unti-unti nga raw nilang naipapakita ang kanilang identity at laro kumpara nung Game 1 dito sa National Finals. Para sa improvement in the second half, actually, Coach Alex called out the team na baka masyad na silang nai-inlove sa three-point shots. Okay naman daw to uh, para sa kumpiyansa, but try to make the setup better first just to avoid four shots. Same with what Coach Chris Gavina emphasized in the dugout, the importance of trusting your teammate. If you see them, give them a chance with the ball and trust that they will make the right decision. Your thoughts, Adolf and Coach Louis? Thank you so much, Sid. Uh, pretty much yun yung sinasabi natin kanina, Coach Louis, yung, you know, setting for three-pointers. Uh -oh. You know, and then there are opportunities to get better shots and get, you know, to let the offense develop more. Uh -oh. But uh, speaking of Encho Serrano taking over, uh, we're seeing right that right now. No, when uh, as soon as Bacoor took that seven-point lead, he's got uh, three straight points now, a chance for more. And what that's one thing that Bacoor needs to recognize now. Uh, yung ginagawa ni Encho Serrano at this quarter. Actually, group pa dun sa first half. Kung babalikan nila kung ano yung mga kusa nakakascore si Encho, all is com coming from, alam mo yung open play. Hindi, hindi ready yung defense sa Del. Okay, Arwin and Marquis, two veterans going at it. Well, at the start of the season, who would have thought we will see this matchup and uh, we will see <laughs> this type of play? And the start of the game, I saw the two of them talking about it. Yes, of course. Look, former teammates, uh, these two of And uh, again, that's competition, Sedel. That oh. is competition. Oh, of course. Rayson kicks it out. Concept this, this short for three. No. Hey, pass. Nice pass. Hey, Gilos adjusts and scores. Uh, J-Boy Gilos into double figures now with 10 points. Oh, uh, you know, those little things. Doon nakaka do na do nakukuha ng mga players ng Bacoor yung kumpiyansa nila na bumalik. Yung mga gestures na yan. Makes his move. Layup. Wala. Put back. No good. Tapik. Nakuha ni Rayson. Grayson inside, Baltazar puts it in for two. Breaking the silence, Justin Baltazar. Pero just his fourth point in this game, Zadel. But already had 15 rebounds. Three point lead for Baku Orr. Three minutes remaining in the third quarter. Egilos gets it to Marquis. Labas kay Hiruta. Five seconds on the shot clock. Blocked by Santos. Serrano. And Echo Serrano. What a move right there. Hangs in the air, adjusts, and somehow gets it off the window. Oh, oh. you know, uh, that's why uh, Coach Gold okay, decided to keep him playing because it is Echo Serrano right now versus the Bacor strikers. Vuelo ni Enzo Serrano, the hang time and the adjustment in mid-air. And Enzo Serrano, specialty, yung uh, drive na yon. And the great sportsmanship being shown by two players. And both of them fall, fall, uh, fell on the floor. 44 to 43. Timeout, Bacor. This block of the game is brought to you by TMT. Accelerate your victory with TMT Play.
who are still watching the MPBL. Pampanga's huddle is filled with positivity. Kahit nga natapos ang first half with an even score, Coach Raiko Toroman said they are playing good. They just need to upscale their defensive rebounding even more. Coach Alden Ayo added na isimplify lang natin ang opensa. Push it. If the shot is there, go for it. If not, we run the play. Dagdag ni Coach Gov Delta Pinay dan napansin niya na in the first half, mabagal daw ang pagset ng bola. So he wants the Lanterns to push the pace and have more confidence. For the second half, they plan to go full power on offense. They even have this new play called the new one. Let's see if the new one will be the right one for the Lanterns. Back to you guys. Maraming salamat, Andrea. And uh, a lot of uh, great coaching minds on that Pampanga bench. And uh, there's no shortage of ideas there, Coach Louie. And uh, it's all a matter of really executing it on the floor. Oh, oh exactly. And, uh, you know, no, the very reason why they're the best, one of the best best team right now. And uh, best team up north, best team in the in the elimination, said Oh. oh. Yeah, Marky is whistled for the foul on the drive by uh, Arwin Santos. Both teams already over the limit. At, and at this stage, this is going to be crucial for the Bacoor strikers. Uh, this uh, stage of the ball game, okay, last two minutes okay, uh, in the third quarter. So let's see. And Bacoor still up by one here. Kasi itong uh, Pampanga already uh, were able to uh, find kung sino yung magiging spark nila eh. The person of uh, Encho Serrano. Pero for uh, Bacoor right now, si Delph, when, uh, nung pinahinga si John Normal, medyo naging tahimik sila. Tied at 44. This is the 10th deadlock of the ball game. Two minutes remaining in the third. Deloria, drop pass. pass to Caniete. And a putback from Jammer Hamito. And uh, ang maganda doon galing sa executed play. Clemente for three. That is off. Under two minutes remaining, I'd like to give a quick shout out to uh, one of our sponsors, uh, Boss Robert Kai and the Kai family of Boracay de la Ia, the official hotel and resort of the MPBL. Boss Robert, I hope you're enjoying the game. Sayang, hindi ka nakapunta ngayon. Oh, he was oh. in the first two games in Pampanga, bumiayin. He went. Oh. Oh. Joel Lee Yu for three. Five to nothing blitz here from Bacoor after Pampanga tied the game at 44. Serrano, Baltasar, wala. But there is a foul and uh, Justin will go to the free throw line. Uh, I'll just mention that we know that this is going to be a crucial stage for these uh, strikers, but we're going to like the combination what uh, the combination that ginawa ni coach uh, Alex Angeles and uh, Liu here hitting a three-pointer. Yung combination nito ni Joey Liu, ni Viloria, at nito ni uh, Ivan Lodovice. Uh, iba naman yung uh, dimension. Dimension. Oh, oh. Binibigay nitong uh, lineup na to. And uh, Justin Batasar, 16 rebounds in the ball game. Yeah, really has struggled offensively in this game. Only four points. Para kay, uh, 2023 MPBL MVP make that five to go with 16 rebounds. It's a four point lead for the Bacor City Strikers. Ivan Ludovice gets it to Cañete. Lee Yu up against MJ Garcia. I mean, this open. That's a steal by Baltasar. Moment of indecision there. MJ Garcia. A basket and one. And you know he's going to fly. Grabbing lift talaga ni MJ Garcia. Justin Baltasar comes away with the loose ball. Gran Clemente making the smart play and the athleticism of MJ Garcia on display right there. Like suspend na eh, uh, sa Delphi. Eh. May ginawa din siya ganun eh, nung game, uh, game two eh. Yeah, and it was a, in the, crucial. Uh, it was a great setup by Justin, attack. 
then drop off sa kay uh, MJ Garcia down low. Inihilag din yung bola sa kamay. Doon sa kamay ng kalaban. Eh. Then he completes the three-point play. It's a one-point lead for Bacoor. Caliente sees a free lane and lays it in for two. Finally. Kailangan na talaga nila magtiwala eh. Oh, oh. Because they'll, they'll find a way that their offense will, will work. Oh, man. Uh, Bisa, sis, kailangan mo kasi ibigay yun sa player. Kasi he needs to realize that he's just struggling. Pero that doesn't mean that he's a bad player. Uh, and, uh, you know, Caliente, all throughout his playing career dito sa Bako or Strikers, not just this year, but before pa, alam mo yun, he helped his team a lot. Oh, oh. Bahio under pressure, lost it. Viloria quickly to Lee Yu. Ludovice is open for three. No, Hamito, wala pa rin. Caliente, fake, and a foul. And again, that's enough already. Uh, Michael Caniete will get two free throws. He's been aggressive at the limited time that he's on the floor tonight. Oh, every time he's on. You know, sa akin nga nagsimula kanina siya dahil a simple defensive stop. Because from there, I know, I'm confident that Michael, as a player he is, okay, will get his confidence back and right now yung binalik na siya na ni coach Alex Angeles in this crucial moment ng game really has delivering for his team 3 points and 5 rebounds so far para kay Michael Caniete he ups the lead to 5 8 seconds remaining here in the third Rayson against Lee Yu Kurt Rayson nabitawan ang bola Lee Yu drives for it Ludovice has time oh I thought he was going to take the three already, pero na ubusa ng oras si Van de Duvise. But what, what about Joel Liu? Oh, oh they've been closing out quarters very well. Ito nga uh, Bacoor City strikers, Coach Dewey. Oh, you know, you, they know that they need to do it. They need to give it all. And let, those gestures, yung tulad, yung diving for those loose balls, okay, battling for 50-50 possessions, ay yung kailangan nila. Kasi yun yung nawala sa kanila na pakiramdam ko okay, when they play game one and two do sa Pampanga. 53 to 48, the Mangang Bakor as we head into the fourth quarter of Game 3. The Steal of the Game is brought to you by TMT. Accelerate your victory with TMT Play. Molina Road in uh, Bacoor. Eh, ang ganda. Ang liwanag ng Molina Road. Pero yung, uh, ka, yung uh, mga tao, papunta po dito yan sa Strike Gym in Bacoor. And John Nermal and Archie Concepcion in our player matchup. John Nermal, 15 points, 3 rebounds, 3 of 10 shooting. And more of that aggressiveness that we use, we're used to seeing in uh, this season kung saan nahirang siyang most improved player. Uh, uh, normal being the normal, normal. And uh, again, ang laking bagay. Kita-kita mo yung facial react, yung facial pa lang na ni uh, normal right now. Full of confidence na eh. Ibang-iba na. And he's really performing well. Well, and uh, we mentioned Archie Concepcion, of course, with six points. And uh, kinakailangan din siyang mag... Uh, 
Pakita dito, especially in the fourth quarter, if Pampanga wants to complete the sweep and take home the trophy. Will it be the last quarter of uh, Bacoor season? No inbound violation on uh, Lee Yu, and they want to change the call right here. I want to want to challenge it. Again, that's how important every possession right now in this ball game. Well, he wasn't. Umaga si Liu was complaining at the way. Binigay yung bola sa kanya on the inbound by the referee. The quality of the pass. Oh. And again, uh, yeah, those are the things. Yes. Uh, okay. It was self-corrected. So, okay, let's just let's play on. It's details. <laughs> Minor details. Kahit yan, pinag-aano, pinag-seminar yung mga ganda. Oo, naman. And uh, kung may pressure sa mga players, mas malaking pressure doon sa mga officials natin. Here's Caniete. Runs into Liwag. Adjust. Wala. But look at Trapper Hamito. Rising okay. over Justin Bantasar for the two points. Oh, second putback already for Hamito. Okay. Hindi niya kailangan, kailangan niya lang talagang mag-effort na kumuha ng offensive rebound. And Archie Concepcion with a quick response. Nine points for Archie. And uh, we've been talking about off the air, yung effort plays na nakikita natin dito from Bacoor. And that has been the difference. You know, th there was a point in game one na uh, sabi ni Coach Ash, hindi talaga siya natutuwa sa effort na pinapakita ng team niya. But here come the Lanterns. Concepcion! And uh, not getting uh, the easy two. Joel Lee Yu, that, that's still effort right there. Except, Making oh. the opponent earn the two points on oh. the line. Oh, oh, if you want to be, you want to get that championship trophy. Okay, so, uh, it's, 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 it's glaring message from Bacor. You, they need to earn it for the Pampanga Giant Lanterns. They, it, it's not going to be a walk in the park for them. Yes, they're down 0-2. Itong Pampanga up by 2-0 in this series. Pero ito yung, si Del, ngayon ramdam na ramdam ko na yung beauty nitong uh, format natin sa MPBL uh, it's the home court advantage really okay, right now we're jump back here pero you know outside and dami pa pong mga tao na hindi nakapasok sabi nga ni coach Alex eh, if there's one thing he wanted to take away from game 2 was actually yung improvement ng effort ng team niya as we uh, Bring you this uh, free throw from Extreme Appliances. Ang subok at kompletong appliance brand na Pilipinas. Coach Louis, and, 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 no, paangat na paangat yung effort. But hopefully, for Bacor, it's not too late. Oh, they, they are champions for a reason, Sadel. Uh, siguro talagang nagulat lang sila dun sa game, game nila against Pampang in that game one. Okay, tremendous improvement in game two. Okay, right now, they're fighting toe-to-toe -to -toe against this uh, mighty giant lantern. Two made uh, free throws para kay Archie Concepcion that brings Pampanga closer, 55 to 53. Lee Yu, binabatay ni Serrano. There's Ivando Davise. Caniete has it. Fakes the handoff. Michael spins. No. Liwag collects the rebound for Pampanga. Oh, nandun na eh. Nandun na yung kumpiyansa eh. There's Angel Serrano. It's a double team. Lee Wak, the kick out to Archie Concepcion. Then the shot clock. Quick double for Baltasar. Tapos sa tira ni Allen Lee Wak. You're going to like the effort of these two guys. Kito si, uh, si Ivan Lutubise. At ito si Joel Lee Yu. Oo. Oh, wala na silang pakialam eh. Ayaw din ang madibre eh. Yung player ng Pampanga. Even if, lalo na pag may bola na. <laughs> Hindi biro yung layo ng rotation na pinagkahinga nila sa Del. Iniiwan nga niya si Enzo Serrano pa na ka dyan. Oo. <laughs> Takbo kami sa loob. John Herman is back in the game. Serrano fires. Wala. Nermal fresh off the bench, gets 
the rebound. Li Yu. Good pass. Nice pass to Hamito once again. Jammer with six points in the game, and then Bakor is up by four. And again, sa akin, yung, yung ano eh, yung hindi siya nila, hindi yung performance right now ni Hamito tsaka ni Ganyete, yung alam nila kailangan sila si Del. That's true. Garcia, high arcing three. Yeah, that's big. That's big. Six points for MJ Garcia. Had one of those high arcing threes as well in game two. Ludovice, Hamito, jumper, did not get the bounce. Garcia gives it up to Encho Serrano. Serrano. That's a foul. Encho Serrano. Again, uh, okay, we're talking about this, Adel. Who's going to be Gold's lucky pick right now? Game one, Kurt, it was Kurt Rayson. Game two, it's, it was Archie Concepcion. And now, I think, for tonight, it's this guy. Natitira ng free throw line, ng free throw. Si, si Edjo Serrano. He's been on attack mode tonight. 14 points for Edjo Serrano and he ties the game. Mapanga has taken the lead here. They were down by five to start the fourth. It's John Hermal. Oh, oh. Itong bumalik na yung tatlo. Si Ludovice, Heruta, and uh, itong si James Cuecote. Daniete looking for a way through. Labas kay Cuecote, three-pointer. That's good. What a treat. What a treat, 16 to 58. Garcia. Let's see. Fires. Yes! That shot hurt all the way to San Fernando, Pampanga. <laughs> oh, oh, alam ko lang sa kasi, kasi sa Delph yung two second layup eh. May three second three pointer din pala. <laughs> oh, oh. Pero hirap pala pala kasi dito sa likod ng gagaling eh. Layo talaga. Cuecote, that's a backcourt violation. And these young guns of Pampanga responding here in the fourth quarter in a big way. James Cuecote knocking down the three, nothing but net. And how about MJ Garcia? Pangalawang tres na yan here in the fourth quarter. And you know this guy, MJ Garcia, Yung impact na pinibigay niya every time na ini-insert siya ni Coach Go, ni uh, Coach Gov Delta talaga sa On both ends of the floor. Oo, not just in this game. Alam mo yung ang dami. Ang daming laro. Bakor getting the stop against Encho Serrano. Down by one ang strikers. Nermal makes his move. Spins. John Great Nermal! Move. Great move. And, uh, and again, with the uh, energy right now of John Armal and James Cuecote, credit that to the group of 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 the the middle. Encho! Oh! He can score in a variety of ways. Encho Serrano. Meron siyang dire-diretso na atake. Meron ding minsan binabagalan niya. Oo. Oh, oh. And you know, ang, ang pinakamaganda sa larong ito, si Del, hindi niya pinipilit. Oh! oh. Ow! James Cuegote. Again, you cannot just be good. You need to be great in this game, si Del. That's true. Concepcion down the middle. That's a foul. And it will go against Mark Yee. And look at Encho Serrano. That was lovely. 
yung control niya sa sarili niya doon. Oo, oh, oh, yung Pinoy step pa. And, and how about this one? Grecote gets Concepcion in the air and knocks down the big three. Oo, oh, oh, and talking about concentration in that finish. 65 to 63. Ceasefire muna tayo. Magbabalik kami for game three. Bounces to Balti, and that's the first Balti slam in the semi-finals. Going to MJ, Garcia will fly! Up, up, and away! Sa lahat ng aking mga kababayan, mga kabalin, inibitahan ko po kayo na patuloy na suportahan ang inyong uh, Pampanga Giant Lanterns sa kanilang paglaban sa North Division Finals dito sa 2023 MPBL Playoffs. Salamat po sa patuloy na pagtangkilik sa MPBL ang Liga ng Bawag Pilipinas. Maraming maraming salamat. As MJ drives, there's the kick out. Santos for three. Yes, sir. Yes, Hunter, Manny Pacquiao, our FPBL founder, wife, Jinky, and Israel is here. They're all here. <laughs> oh, and uh, thank you, boss, for this treat. Alam mo yun, Chadel, we waited for this moment. Coach Elvis Tolentino and uh, Kyle, also in the building. Means na eh. it, it This is one of those games na ayaw mong matapos. Exactly. <laughs> and, uh, you know, for the players as well na, you know, they worked hard for this. Ilang, ilang buwan yan sa Delphi. Hindi, hindi biro na mapunta ka at this stage of the tournament. Playing for the national final. A.G. Gonzalez. Uh, for... Uh, the manager and owner of uh, the Papanga Giant Lanterns, along with uh, Congressman Don Gonzalez, is also in the building. And Archie Concepcion at the line for two free throws. Chance to tie the game. They're halfway through this uh, fourth quarter. That's Kong Dong right there. Archie Concepcion with another stellar effort here in Game 3. 11 points. Perfect 5 of 5 at the line. Oh, oh and it's, it's really a great matchup. And, uh, especially Archie Concepcion now stepping up at the uh, fourth quarter. Yeah. For uh, more on Bacor, let's go to Sydney Crespo. Alam niyo, sa Delph and Coach Louis, sinabi ni John Nermal sa akin na nahirapan siyang makahawak ng bola nung Game 2 na tuluyang naka-apekto sa kumpiyansa niya nung gabing yun. Pero bilang natural hustler, hindi pa payag si John hanggang dun lang siya sa series na ito. Kwento niya sa akin, nandito na siya kaninang 10 a.m. pa sa Strike Gymnasium para mag-shooting mag-isa. Kailangan daw niyang pantayan ng energy ng mga bako-orenyo. Hustle at depensa, yan ang normal-normal para kay John. Back to you guys. Maraming salamat, Sydney, on that. Nice report on John Nermal, and here he is. And look at this. Was not able to finish John Nermal. Oh, that's a poor shot by Marquis. Good stop here by Pampanga. Garcia, that's an air ball. Concepcion out to Baltasar. Great Drop pass. pass to Lee Wong. In and out. Bust, but Justin Baltasar. Got that one to go, 67 to 65. Again, control the boards. Uh, that's what Justin Baltasar just did. Marky went on a fishing expedition oh, and nakakuha siya. Experience ng move na talaga. <laughs> Justin Baltasar. And... Uh, that's rebound number 17 for Justin Baltasar already with seven points in the ball game. And Marquis at the line. Yeah, crucial free throws for Marquis. That's off to the left for Marquis. Boss Dennis Abella. Yeah, gave up scoring already and said focus on the other things. They like his leadership. Alam mo yun yung nag, nag, ano, eh, nagtitimon sa defensa si Mark. Eh. Yeah, he's the anchor of that defense. Oh. And siya rin ang nag-communicate. Eh. Siya nag-direct. Exactly. 
But the Sar on the double team. Serrano to Concepcion for three. Yes! Four point lead for Pampanga with under four minutes remaining. And that's big. Can Bacoor respond? Nermal. Eight on the shot clock. John Nermal for three. Yes! John Nermal, 20 points in the ball game. 69 to 70. Serrano with a spin. Oh my goodness! Echo Serrano! Again, Sadel, this is the, the series that we're expecting. Okay, right here in front of us, this game three. This is championship at its best. What a showcase this has been. Nermal against Garcia. Good pass. What a pass. Iguilos is blocked and the foul whistled on Justin Baltasar. And again, okay, credit again that setup from uh, John Nermal. Attracting the defense, giving that dish to Jamo Egulus down low, and got fouled by Justin Baltasar. And Jamo Egulus. And that seemed like a you know, fatigue setting in on uh, that uh, free throw. Uh, both of them. And, uh, you know, you cannot, yeah, though it's going to be split, but as much as possible. These are the crucial ones, Edel. One okay. for two for Jamo. Yeah, split by Egelo, split also by uh, Marquis before that possession. Two point lead for Papanga. Encho Serrano. MJ Garcia. Drives. No good. Air ball. Baltasar with three seconds in the shot clock. Balti on the turnaround shot. Lead big is back time. up to four. Ten points for Justin Baltasar. Yeah, big time basket for a big time player. John Nermal again. Nermal with a three. Wala. Ang tapik. Yeah, that clearly, clearly. Off striker's Archie ball. Concepcion. Two minutes and three seconds remaining. Fresh 14 for Bacoor. Apat ang lamang ng Pampanga. Ludovice gets into the paint. Egilos too strong. And Pampanga gets the stop. Uh -oh. And you know the defensive tenacity of this uh, Giant Lanterns not quitting. Okay, whatever happens, okay, star player playing, struggling offensively, pero hindi sila nagkikwit eh. Cause... Uh, Justin Baltasar makes it a six-point lead. Back-to-back -back baskets for the reigning MVP. Here's the fadeaway from Justin Baltasar. And who would who have thought that that's a layu pani Justin in terms of scoring? Pero right now, at this moment of the game, yung impact niya sa laro, okay? Takit na naramdaman na natin. That's why he was named the most valuable player. Okay, time out muna tayo. 76 to 70, lamang ang pampanga. Minute and 35 remaining in game three. Presenting our Suzuki muscular and sporty fan of the game, just like the Avenis, do more and achieve more. 
with a muscular and sporty scooter from Suzuki. Dia Benes, oras na para magmotor. It's been a great game three, but for the fans of Bacoor, and jo anxious sila dito because their team is down by six with a minute and 35 remaining in uh, game three and uh, and coach Louie yung pinag-uusapan niya natin no? itong team ng Pampanga they just wear you down Na, I mean nakakapagod kalabanin yeah true said that and uh, that's, that's one thing that they're gonna appreciate with the trust being given by a uh, Coach uh, Golf Delta. I mean, he putting fresh legs inside, maximizing that he knows that bata yung team niya, and uh, they can do it until the last minute. It's normal. Finds the Dovise. Three okay, seconds on the shot clock. Ivan for three. That's off. Minute and 20 remaining. Aaron Hiruta will report. To the scorer's table. And he's back in the game for Ivan de Vise. Bakor needs a stop. And you know that they're going to use that clock. The same five, almost. And then that's the last game to Sedel. Serrano, layup, short. Rebound, Jammer Hamito gets it to Marquis. Slips, Baltasar with a steal. Serrano is open. Echo for two. What a time to get yung biggest lead mo sa larong ito at eight. 78 to 70. Pampanga can smell it. The fans making the trip to Bacoor. Very unfortunate here for Marquis. Oh, uh -huh. and uh, again, Sedel is a second. He repeat ko lang yung sinabi mo. They're gonna wear you down. And right now, makikita mo na sa itsura, sa, sa actions ni ito ni Marquis and uh, kanina ni uh, Jay Mo Egulos that the fatigue is sinking in already. Coach Alex Angeles and the Bacor City Strikers are uh, hoping and praying that they can turn things around. They do have 48 seconds. And a lot of things can happen in 48 seconds. Pero ang mahirap dito sa Delph, Pampanga still has two more fouls to give. Congressman Don Gonzalez taking it all in. No. Oh, oh. And why not? Again, one of our pioneers here in the MPBL. All, every year he's trying, they're trying to be competitive. And uh, I think right now, in front of us right now, will be the 47 seconds left. Maybe the first championship for the province of Pampanga. That's a foul. On Encho Serrano. This is the third team foul. Swekate. Fires the three. Yes! Deficit is down to five. Oh, and uh, you know what's good there? It didn't take them too long. Okay, eight seconds to convert one. Still, still possible, said Elf. Just a two possession game. Pampanga. Up by five. Let's listen in to Coach Alex. Okay, 
So, one thing here said Delph is uh, where will etong uh, Pampanga take the ball out? Oh, uh -huh. uh -huh. so crucial because if they if they decide na ilabas yan do sa front court, that's gonna be 14 seconds lang. That's a tough three pointer to make uh, for James Gregote. He's had a lot of that here in this series. And here we go. 40.6 seconds remaining. Yeah, Pampanga will have possession. Yeah, they're taking it out backward, so that's make that makes it two possession ball games at all. Oh. And to Serrano to inbound. Bakor has no more timeouts. Oh, he stepped on the line. MJ Garcia. So Bakor gets the stop here. Oh. oh. It's a lifeline, but they have to make the most out of this. Oh, they and they need to do it there because wala etong uh, Bacoor strikers wala nang timeout. And Bacoor convert. They go to Quecote. James, wala. I thought that was a bit early there, oh. Coach Louis. Serrano in trouble. Gets it to Kutsev, oh. shot for the layup! That's icing in the cake. I think that's it. Well, okay, talking about Archie Concepcion in this fourth quarter. Yi inside, gets the two points. It could be too little, too late. Eighty to seventy-five. Pampanga on the verge of oh. clinching their first national championship. Take a look at this one. Uh, James Krakate with a uh, difficult three-pointer that did not work. Encho Serrano able to find Archie Concepcion and just the presence of mind and your your physical ability. That this late of the ball game, uh, you know, to makupa do, no, get a transition basket, kahit anong pagod din oh, <laughs> sa larong to. And uh, you know that, uh, especially with Archie Sedelf, uh, playing again, playing with that purpose, okay, he knows that it's been a struggle for him all throughout, pero his performance in that game two and now, na idad na dala niya pa hanggang dito sa game three. This organization will remember, will respect and cherish him. Twelve point seven seconds remaining. It's gonna be a quick foul. Expect a quick foul. And Jose Rano finds Garcia. They have to give up a foul here. Yeah. So let's see if uh, Coach uh, Gov Delta okay, will play offense, defense here. Because madalas pag ganito, aalagaan mo na eh. Pero sa Del, babalikan ko uli yung habang nagkasalita ka kanina at the start of, our, our, of the game when Bosman is holding that trophy. I think it still stays. Wala pang team na nanalo in their home turf. Oh. Yun nga eh. Eh, ganun talaga dito sa MPB. <laughs> <laughs> two for two for Encho. And it's all over. Right here, foul by Rayson on Aaron Heruta. Ayaw pa rin. <laughs> Gusto bang patagalin ang konti ni Kurt Rayson eh. <laughs> Winning this one, Pascom Pasco sa Pampanga sa Oh my goodness, yes! <laughs> 82 to 75. Joel Liu makes the basket. 
but it's the Pampanga Giant Lanterns. Well deserved, Sadal. Well deserved. The 2023 MPBL National Champions. A dominant season ends with a championship for the Pampanga Giant Lanterns. A sensational season. 28 wins in the regular season, 9 wins in the playoffs, 9 and 0 in the playoffs. And you know, so the, the, this is this is a repeat of what they did. Okay, there was a big chat. Okay, the semifinals, nung, uh, uh, finals, ng uh, Northern Division, San Juan. There's a big challenge. They rise to that. And today, against this Baco or in, in in Baco Or's gym, they rise to the challenge again. Congratulations. Pampanga Giant Lanterns. Sensational effort from the Pampanga Giant Lanterns and despair for John Narmal and the Bacor City Strikers. He gave it everything he had in Game 3. And it just fell to a much superior team uh -oh. in the Pampanga Giant Lanterns. And uh, what an end to our season. It, it This... In game three, natin was really, you know, it, it may end up as a sweep, no, a three to nothing sweep. But these last two games, especially it on game three, wow, what a classic and a, what a showcase of what the MPBL is all about. Oh, oh, totoo, oh, yan. And uh, you know, these are the things that, siguro right now with the, with the organization, yung babalikan mo yung performance mo ng game one, because could have been different, Sedel, if they performed well in that game one, knowing. Na gani gani din ganun yung format. Eh. It's gonna, it's a two two one format. Eh. Two, so you need to steal one there. You cannot afford na matalo kayo ng walang laban. Yeah, absolutely. And you know, Pampanga had a mission tonight. They wanted to bring home that trophy early back to Pampanga. And Enzo Serrano making sure na mangyayari yan. Yeah, he was so relaxed, you know. You know, and, and kasi minsan makikita mo na pinagsasab, na kinakausap siya lagi ni Coach Del, Gov Delta kasi masyado siya agresibo sa lahat ng bagay. Especially, hindi, pero today, si Del, he played relaxed. You can see his concentration. And he was under control. Oh. Ang buong game natin na nakikita, eto si uh, Echo Serrano. Not too high, not too low. And uh, yun nga ang resulta. A terrific performance to cap off a dominant season for the Papanga Giant Lanterns. Let's go to Mika Abisam. Encho, sa dami ng injuries off games, sabi mo sa akin, minsan nagkakainisan na kayo ng teammates nyo. Eto na, nagbigay ka ng isang championship at bukod doon, sweep pa. Um, ayun nga, sobrang sayo ko kasi before game kanina, nagdasal talaga ako. Kasi alam naman natin, first First game namin, second game namin, wala akong natulong sa team namin. Kaya, ayun, sabi ko sa sarili ko, kailangan akong mag-double effort ngayon kasi hindi madali kasi yung court ng kalaban. Um, ayun, basta gusto ko lang na yun, ma makabigay ako ng tulong sa team namin kasi yun nga, pa sobrang pangit ng nilaro ko nung mga pass. Ngayon, na-overcome ko naman and yun, nakuha namin yung champion. And so, nakita ko kanina, pinagdikit nyo ni Balti yung noo nyo. Anong sinabi mo sa kanya? Um, sabi ko sa kanya, champion na tayo, Tol. Um, lahat ng hirap natin na pinagdaanan natin dito, natapos natin na maayos, napachampion natin yung mga kabampangan at yung boss namin. Eh, so anong gusto mo sabihin kay Governor Delta Pineda at sa lahat ng sumusuporta sa'yo? Um, Siyempre, unang-una, nagpapasalamat ako sa Panginoon, sa lahat ng kabampangan, para kaya kayo yung Pimpialo ngayon eh. And sa amin, sa boss namin, kay Gob, Kay Kong, kay Boss CG, maraming salamat sa inyo, Boss. Kundi dahil sa inyo, wala kami dito ngayon. Um, yun. Maraming salamat. And binabati ko yung family ko. Sorry, wala ako sa birthday ko, sa mama ko, para sa iyo to. And sa lolo ko, Tito Jose, happy birthday. Ngayon yung birthday niya. And sa girlfriend ko, kay Zaya. And sa ano, kila Kyle, kay Bianca. Tapos yung... Mga kapatid ko, yung mga pinsan, family serano in Caralde. And yung mga palit boys, sa Santo Niño boys, yun lang. Napakagandang birthday gift. Happy, happy birthday, Encho Serrano, sa Delft Coach Louis. Congratulations, Encho Serrano. He is our best player of the game. 
in this uh, title clinching victory of the Pampanga Giant Lanterns and I think we're uh, going to be preparing uh, the stage uh, center court for our awarding ceremonies and uh, well, we'll get more of the players from the champion team let's go to Sydney Crespo is with Archie Concepcion Yes, mga kaliga, kasama ko nga. Siyempre, ang isa sa mga homegrown ng Pampanga Giant Lanterns, Archie Concepcion. Archie, buong season, paulit-ulit mong sinasabi na bago matapos ang taon na to, ibibigay mo muna yung championship kay Governor Delta Pineda. Pagkatapos ito, kung ano mangyari, bahala na. Ngayon, you made history. You are an MPBL nat national champion. Uh, grabe po. Uh, sobrang blessed ko po na nakuha po namin yung championship. Uh, grabe po yung tiwala ng... Mga, mga management po, yung management, mga teammates ko, coaches, lahat ng kapampangan community, grabe po yung tiwala na binibigay nila sa amin para sa inyo po to. Archie, balikan lang muna natin sa glit. Itong game na ito, no? hindi rin ito pinadali ng Bacoor para sa inyo. They have their own adjustments, firepower, at uh, gustong gusto rin nila itong kunin. Nandun ka hanggang dulo, ano ang nangibabaw para sa inyo? Ay, yung tiwala po namin sa isa't isa. Yung composure po namin, nandun pa rin po. Ay, hindi po kami bumitaw. Uh, gustong gusto po namin manalo para sa mga kabalan po namin. And especially kay Congressman Dong Gonzales, kay Gov Delta Dennis Pineda po. Maraming maraming salamat po. Archie, matagal ko na itong gustong tanungin sa'yo, no? Maganda ang naging karir mo dito sa Pampanga, pero dumating si Encho Serrano, dumating si Balti Baltazar, hindi ka naging selfish. Anong gusto mong sabihin sa mga teammates mo? Yun nga po yung sinasabi ni Gob. Yung lanterns po, pag may nawala na isa, hindi magandang tignan. Kaya nagsama-sama lang po kami. Yung tiwala namin sa isa't sa dapat nandun po. Archie, I'm sure marami kang gustong pasalamatan. Sino ito? Unang-una uh, po po, pinapasalamatan ko po ang ama. Binigyan niya po kami ng lakas para makuha to. And pinasala pinasasalamatan ko po si Coach Gob, si Coach Pedic, mga coaching staff, Management, mga boss, especially yung family ko, asawa ko, anak ko, mama ko, mga kapatid ko, tita, tito, Conception family, dukot family, and ang kapampangan community, and mga, yung binan ko. Mula sa, liga ng, uh, mula sa mga liga ng Pampanga ngayon, MPBL National Champion, congratulations sa'yo, RG. Andrea, sinong kasama mo? Yes, Ed, kasama, kasama ko naman ngayon si Coach Governor Dennis Delta Pineda, our winning coach. First of all, congratulations, Coach Gov. Coach Gov, this is the first time in MPBL history na nagkaroon ng sweep sa national finals. It, it's under your coaching with the Pampanga Giant Lanterns. Ano po ang napatunayan ninyo at ng inyong team ngayong gabi? So first, napatunayan ho namin na talaga yung mga prayers ng Kapampangan talaga malakas. Sabi ko nga, yung pagpunta ho namin dito, it's against all odds. Pero sinabi ko sa mga bata because sa dasal na baon natin ng mga kapampangan, dumigit lang tayo ng fourth quarter, atin na to. Coach, paulit-ulit kitang narinig, sinasabi mo sa mga players mo, walang bibitaw and that is exactly what they did. Ano na naman ang masasabi mo ngayon sa mga players mo? Nagpapasalamat ako dahil sa, sa puso na pinakita ng mga players Sabi ko nga, from the beginning, where are lanterns? Hindi po pwedeng meron bumbilya na pundido. Kailangan tayo lahat sumindi para mapakita natin ang ganda ng Pampanga Giant Lantern. Very well said, Coach Gov. Ngayon naman po, Coach, meron ka po bang gustong sabihin sa mga kapampangan na sumuporta sa Pampanga Giant Lantern? First, sa lahat po ng prayer warriors namin, sa lahat po ng kapampangan, marami salamat sa mga dasal po ninyo. Sa lahat ng kapampangan na nandito po ngayon, even the mayors, maraming salamat po. Huwag po kayong magsasawa na sumuporta sa Pampanga Giant Lanterns. Ito po ang championship na to inaalay po namin para sa mga kapampangan. Maraming salamat po. Thank you so much po. Once again, that is our winning coach, Coach Governor Dennis Delta Pineda. Back to you, Sir Delta Coach Louis. Maraming salamat, Andrea. Uh, oh, what a season. This has been uh, Coach Louie, and uh, big congratulations again to Pampanga Giant Lanterns and uh, special pa sila, may special guest pa sila sa awarding, ah. Oh, oh, no, Our man. league founder, MPBL uh, league chairman and founder, Senator Manny Pacquiao, in the building for uh, the awarding. And uh, for now, 
Meanwhile, uh, let's go to Mika Abisamis who is with uh, Justin Baltasar. Balti, walang ginawa lahat ng teams dito sa season na to, kundi bantayan ka, depensahan ka. Alam kong masakit sa katawan, pero ito, sulit na lahat. Ayun nga, lahat ng mga pinagpaguran ko, ito, binuos ko na lahat. Kahit masama yung pakiramdam ko, nakita nyo naman, yung nilaro ko ng first, uh, first quarter, second quarter, third quarter, pero di pa rin kayo bumitaw. Yung fourth quarter, talagang binigay, binigay ko talaga yung best ko. Balti, tinanong ko kay Encho to kanina, nakita ko nagdikit yung noon nyo. Anong binulong mo kay Encho? Ayun, uh, nagpapasalamat sa kami sa isa sa kasi pagod din siya eh. Every game talaga, nag-uusap kami, kahit pagod, talaga para sa mga kapampangan itong ginagawa namin. Anong gusto mo sabihin kay Governor Delta Pineda at syempre sa pamilya mo na sumusuporta sa'yo? Ayun, uh, kay Dennis Delta Pineda, uh, binigay ko lang yung gusto niya, yung champion. Lahat ng pinagpaguran namin, ito, nagbunga. At sa pamilya mo, Balti? Uh, yun na, nagpapasalamat ako sa Serrano family, sa asawa ko, kay Chick Serrano, and sa anak ko, kay Zeus, and mga taga Mabalakat, MCG, kay Mayor Garbo, and kay Mayor Titanco na taga Palit, mga taga Santo Nino, and then sa biyarang ko, si ano, Ed, Edward, Edward Serrano, and kay Bami Jin. Maraming salamat our most valuable player, Justin Balti Baltazar. Sa so, Delph Coach Louie. Thank you so much, Mika, and uh, you know, nothing but praise para kay Justin Baltasar this season. That was uh, uh, something else, yung kinang ginawa this season for Pampanga. And uh, yung nga yung, uh, going here, I was thinking, sabi ko, you know, over the last, you know, championships nitong uh, MPBL, I was thinking kung, you know, if the franchises that have won the MPBL, kung sinong team na ang cornerstone nila was a big man. Mm -hmm. And I think, ito yung Pampanga, for the first time, yung cornerstone, a big man eh. Because uh, previously, before, kalat eh. eh wala, wala talagang, uh, uh, it's filled with a lot of role players, no? may mga, may mga iba-ibang, um, you know, iba-ibang players na hindi as dominant to uh -huh. as a Justin Baltasar. This season, and you know what's, what? What you gonna like with uh, Balti as well is his, his attitude. Alam mo yon sa Delphi was never insecure. Instead, uh, he had maraming move, maraming player movement na nangyari for the Lanterns. Pero with Justin, he's, he's welcome, welcome addition sa kanya lahat yun eh. Because right now, this guy is a winner. He plays with a lot of purpose. He plays for Governor Pineda, Coach Governor Pineda. He plays for the province of Pampanga. And talking about dominant, I think. It will take some time to replace a Justin Baltasar, our league MVP. Sa, sa, dito sa ating, sa ating uh, MPBL sa e Easily one of the, the greatest players to, to ever you know, suit up in the MPBL. Wherever, you know, whatever the future holds para kay Justin Baltasar. You know, we'll, we're, we are so grateful that we have witnessed his greatness uh -oh. dito sa liga natin. And uh, as well, credit also to the organization, especially led by their coach, uh, Governor Pineda. Alam mo yun, uh, kasi ay yung palagi ko sinasabi every time I cover them, but I'm really impressed on how this team develops. Uh, para mga kinukuha niya, puro yung mga, tinitingnan natin mga skills eh. Pero it, this became a defensive team, which to me right now gave them that championship. Alam mo yun, the defense, their defense won them that championship. You know? oh, oh. And yun nga, you know, eh. And, and as you mentioned, you know, the way they wear down teams, um, it's just, you know, it's just incredible to see them you know, play that way. And they seem to have another gear but crunch time. Uh -oh. When all the other teams are just, you know, laboring to a victory. No, parang irap, no? And, and parang may binubuhat na na bigat sa paa yung ibang teams. Ito naman, lumalakas sa dulo. Oo, oh, 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 totoo yun. And as a coach, that's the win that you, want, you always want. Uh, yung patapos yung laro, mas doon mo nakuha yung biggest lead mo. Alam mo, eh, nanalo ka ng komportable. Oh, Hindi ka nanalo ng naghahapo, ng na mong protection. And, and that's the same story here as well. No? It, it took them a while because full credit to Bacoor, they came to play tonight. John Nerma, James Quercote, Gave everything tonight. Spent sila rin ni Marky and Jammer Amito. And they had momentum. Mm -hmm. May, take note. They had momentum up until the five-minute mark ng uh, fourth quarter in their bid to uh, extend the series. And you know, and another good thing is uh, 
they're not new to the situation already. They're in the same situation when they played San Juan in that Northern Division final. Up to San Juan all the while, all the way. Tapos nung kinuwa nila yung kalamangan. And they won it there also. Sa home turf ng San Juan. There you have it. Our 2023 MPBL National Champions, the Papanga Giant Lanterns. And this team is still young, Sadal. You oh, know, oh. imagine if this whole team will return next year, next call, next season. Medyo mal, ma, mas mabigat na problema na talaga to. Oh, syempre, you know, and uh, you know, the, the way they've uh, recruited players in the, the you know, middle of the season, biglang sumulpot itong si Echo Serrano na nakalain na pala. And then, nandun din si Arwin Santos, Santos na I think yung value niya talaga was, you know, his experience and his, you know, keeping them together, especially when when the times were, you know, nahihirapan sila and there was adversity in front of them. Oh, and it was a great move by the organization, putting that last piece of the, in the puzzle na si Arwin Santos na mag, 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 alam mo yung mag, yung magbabind para dito sa team nila. Kasi hindi na nila masyado kailangan, they have full of talents already, kailangan nila someone na these players will look up to. Oh, they needed a glue guy. Oh, a glue guy, exactly. That's the right word. And uh, impressive talaga si Del kasi gumaling pa yung team eh. Doon ako tuwa-tuwa, doon ako bilib na bilib dito sa team na to. Gumaling pa toward the national finals and now they are champions already. Pampanga Giant Lanterns, Coach Governor Delta Pineda right there. He is also our Coach of the Year. Sa ka nakakita, Governor na Coach of the Year pa. Pwede pa nga executive eh. <laughs> Lahat. And make no mistake about it. Yeah, and sila uh, dalawa ni, yung combination nila ni... Coach Pedic. Uh, and, and also, Coach, um, Kong, Kong, Kong Dong Gonzalez. Kong Dong, oh. Very formidable. Exactly. And again, the mission kasi, yan, uh, you know, selfless mission, selfless sa Delta. You know, they know oh. that they're doing this for the province of Pampanga. They're doing this para ipakita kung ano yung program ng kapangpangan para doon sa kanilang manlalaro ng basketball. No, this is a testament, really. Oh. So, uh, what they've been doing in the province, finding talent, developing talent, and uh, you know, letting them flourish and showing them to the entire world. Oh, and maybe the only team as well na mas maraming homegrown players. Oh. oh. Now, the, you know, it's a team that uh, nakabalance, really, and nakabalance can call their own. Kasi nga, ang dami nga ang taga sa kanila talaga. You know, sila talaga yung uh, nag-epitomize ng home growth. Oo. Oh, oh. And uh, okay, right now, now they're in the, they're written in the history of the MPBL na sila. So, alam natin, with this kind of organization, mas, mas magi mas magi improve pa to, mas lalakas pa to. So, Sa akin, this is a this is a sign na kung gaano tumataas na mataas na rin yung ating liga. No, and uh, we mentioned nga kanina eh na parang pagpasok na sa court no first five sabi ko, oh, this is a, a a five that can play with the best of them. No. Our finals MVP is none other than Justin Bunty Baltasar. Wow. How oh, sweet it is. Oh, oh. Alam mo, nung start nitong uh, finals, Coach Louie, the MPBL social media team put out a graphic, mm. okay? Season MVP, All-Star MVP, ano pang kulang kay Justin Batasar? He completes that tonight. National Championship and the finals MVP. Wow, what a player. Oh, oh. and you know, so the... Uh, who can be more proud? Alam mo yun, kaya ha I've handled this guy. And uh, I know kung, gaanong, kung anong personalidad nitong taong to. And uh, he deserves everything na meron siya right now. Because alam ko, pinagtrabahuan niya lahat yan. Yung, 
yung humility ni Justin Baltazar really you know yung, yung you know, plays with you know with with a lot of heart and a lot of grit pero never never arrogant never goes beyond the physical boundaries of the game respectful yeah uh, just a, a a great role model for every Filipino basketball player to see Justin Batasan. Oh, and, and I think that greatness, uh, he, he, he uh, represents, alam mo yun yung greatness ng ating founder also. Down to earth, alam mo, talagang, uh, that's why, kung ano yung success na nararamdaman niya right now, I'm just really happy for him. So, it's a sweet sweep for the Papanga Giant Lanterns. All hands on the trophy, and why not? They've all done their part. And that's really worth it. Uh, because uh, that's an expensive trophy. <laughs> also. Yeah, thank you okay, to our founder, Senator Manny Pacquiao, for this one. And uh, I know we're just going to get bigger and bigger. And uh, just an incredible season. Uh, Coach Louis. <laughs> you know, when I went here, to the venue, I had a feeling na parang pagpiko, parang may ano ako eh. Gusto ko bang matapos na tonight? Uh -huh. Or gusto kong habaan pa itong uh, season na to? Because ang ganda ng season natin. Exactly. It's It's been a, an incredible season, a breakthrough season. 2019s. And I, I cannot count the games. I, I don't know anymore. <laughs> Hindi ko na alam. Okay. It's game number 451, by the way. <laughs> Day 164 ng MPBL. And, uh, no, it, it's just sad, no? But we're heading into the Christmas season also. So, ako eh, habang nag-celebrate yung uh, Papanga, nalulungkot ako kasi mamimiss ko yung mga tao dito. Yeah, I'm just happy na si Delphine, we were able to stay just one, alam mo, smoothly. Wala masyadong post, walang, wala, walang postponement, the games are there, alam mo, na every week, naglalaro tayo, every week we bring, we bring entertainment sa, sa, sa lahat, and uh, yeah, a very successful season. And, and, and in the playoffs, it just went up a notch, mm -hmm. yung excitement, yung quality ng laro, and yung finals, no, even, it, you know, it's so hard to reach the finals and the level that you have to play in. To, to get to the top. Oh, oh and then nagkaroon pa tayo ng stage dito sa game na to, si Delph, na palit ng back-to-back-to-back-to-back to back to back to back three pointers eh. Oh, and, oh. If you, and if you are in the venue, parang sasabog po yung strike gymnasium sa sobrang hiyawan ng mga fans natin. Oh, oh and and and, the, and that, you know, yung, yung exchange na yun, and it's not, it's not like they were not playing defense, by oh, the way. Oh, oh, oh. They were playing really, really good defense. Yeah. But that, that's the crucial one. It was, and after that, exchange of three-pointers, then, doon na, na, do na nag-start, yung nag-wear down na yung uh, Bacoor, and Pampanga start capitalizing. Na alam, naramdaman nila na may, naka, nag fatigue nagsisink in na doon sa strikers. So many heroes for this Pampanga team. And, uh, you know, if we're uh, honoring the players, we have to mention all the you know yung mga staff nila no all the, the, the people behind the scenes who made this team the giant that they are right now uh, Echo Serrano had a an outstanding game three and the Bacor City Strikers like we've said they made Pampanga earn this title tonight oh, oh talagang it was hard earned it was a hard-earned one, but again, that makes it more sweeter. Alam mo yun, ang, ang sarap nitong pakiramdam nito na natapos sila. And you know the feat they did, that they did, Sedal? Okay, sweeping everything, that's something na sa tingin ko isa pa sa pinakamahirap na challenge. Oo. Uh, so, uh, they, they end the season with a 35-2 and two record, including the playoffs and the finals. So, parang hirap uh, tapatan yung record na yun. Uh, oh. 30, 35 to 30, uh, 35 and 2. So, and, uh, and but question but, mark really, Coach Duino. Kung uh, 
you know how I, I wanted to celebrate first ayo kong uh, pag-usapan ng future mm. and uh, you know pinaka maganda dito they went they they were able to close everything hindi lang hindi sa home turf nila oo uh-huh. Oh, but that, that would have been game five, though. <laughs> yeah, ayon nila yon. Let's uh, go to Sydney Crespo. Yes, the Delphin coach Louis, kasama ko nga siempre our very own commissioner, Com Kenneth Durandes. Com, first of all, congratulations. Another successful season of the MPBL. There are so many good things to highlight this year. But I'm curious for you, ano ba ang naging highlight at ano ang naging special para sa ating mga kaliga, sa ating MPBL community at para sa yon. Well, unang-una, papasalamatan po natin ng Diyos na may kapal dahil uh, kung wala sa kanya, hindi maging successful itong fifth season natin. Of course, ang ating founders na ito naman Pacquiao sa lahat ng suporta niya sa atin dito. Sa mga lahat ng fans, for the whole season nating tinaguyo dito, pinasaya sila at naging successful ang ating season dahil sa kanila. So, para po sa inyong lahat ito, it's a good season for us. Hopefully, next year, we're going to come back again stronger as ever at hopefully yung jump parin kayo para sa amin. Speaking of next year, Com, alam ko na we gained new followers and new fans of the league dahil napaka-successful ng season na ito. A great run for the playoffs and the championships. Com, baka may gusto kang uh, sabihin o no, i-share sa ating mga kaliga kung pwede pa nilang abangan dito. Well, of course, we gained those followers through these years no, na puro hard work yung mga tao nandito sa MPBL. And, uh, Yun na nga, dahil hindi sa strong support nila. Wala tayo dito, wala tayong uh, championship. But of course, hindi tayo titigil dito. Uh, ito pa rin yung si- ang liga para sa inyo next season para lalo naming paghihiyan at pagandahin ang mga ating mga laro para nandun pa rin kayo para sa amin. So maybe you have a message para sa ating mga teams na naglaro ngayong season at pasasalamat. Well, of course, we would like to thank the team owners, LGU partners, oh, sa lahat ng 29 teams na sumali this season. Salamat po sa inyong suporta. And dun po sa hats off sa back or strikers dahil uh, uh, they put up a good fight for the series. But uh, fortunately, isa lang talagang winner natin which is uh, Pampanga Giant Lanterns. And congratulations to everyone who's involved uh, from the bottom of our hearts here in the PMBL. Maraming salamat po sa inyong lahat. Kung wala din po sa inyo mga team owners, LGO partners, hindi rin po ganito ka-successful ang ating season. Maraming salamat po sa inyo. Com, thank you so much for joining me and see you next year. Congratulations once again. Andrea, sino ulit ang kasama mo? Thank you so much, Sid. Kasama ko naman ngayon, one of our MPBL executives, Sir Joe Ramos. Sir Joe, first of all, congratulations sa isang napaka-successful na season. Sir, ano naman po ang masasabi niyo sa naging liga natin for the season? Uh, first of all, we want to thank everybody that was involved um, most importantly the fans the team owners um, the sponsors uh, and the players the staff everybody including you guys uh, maraming maraming salamat sa hard work uh, the effort um, not, none, none of this would be possible without the blessings of, of God number one but uh, yung effort natin lahat including the the owners uh, is uh, vital. No. So Joe, para sa ating mga kaliga na nanonood ngayon, meron po ba silang aabangan para sa next season? Yes. Um, for next season, we're hoping to add more games, um, including uh, more teams, as well as uh, different uh, ways to watch the, the games. Uh, so a lot of exciting things coming up. Oh wow, you heard that mga kaliga. Ngayon naman, Sir Joe, meron ka bang gustong batiin o pasalamatan? Uh, yun lang. I, I just want to thank the fans. Uh, they, are, they are the most important. Uh, they are, they're the cog no, to our machine. So maraming maraming salamat sa kanila. Um, sumaybayan niyo po kami. Uh, we also have uh, the junior MPBL, uh, the volleyball, uh, the other things that uh, Senator Manny has uh, in the pipeline. So, tuloy-tuloy lang po kami. Thank you so much, Sir Joe Ramos. You've heard that, guys. Back to you, Sydney. Thank you so much, Andrea. Of course, kasama ko rin si Sir Emmer Oreta. Sir, first of all, congratulations as the head of the basketball operations. I'm gonna assume already na hindi naging madali para alam mo, itawid ang buong taon na to, lalo na itong playoffs. 
Ano ba ang naging magandang uh, epekto ng uh, ating mga laro, lalo na yung mga out of town, yung mga home games para sa ating mga kaligyan? Well, first of all, uh, congratulations sa uh, ating national champion, uh, ang Pampanga, and also to Bacor. No? Uh, na, na, naglaro sila ng maayos for our fans. And of course, sa lahat ng mga teams natin nag-participate in this season, uh, congratulations din sa kanilang lahat. And uh, yun naman eh, yung unang kinaganda ng ating uh, liga. You know, we're going to lots of places. At uh, yun ang pinangako ni Senator, ilalapit natin ang, ang basketball para sa kanila. Sir, naririnig ko tulad din ang sinabi ni Sir Joe na baka meron tayong mga bagong teams next season. Ano pa ba ang mga pwede nating abangan o gano'ng kaka-excited personally? Oh, yung promise ng ating founder, no? every season, uh, we must continue to develop, no? continue to improve. And uh, maraming mga nag-intent uh, na sumali for our next season. And uh, overwhelming yung uh, nararamdaman namin nila, Senator, no? na na-appreciate nila yung uh, ganda ng ating liga. And uh, most especially ito, para naman to sa lahat ng fans natin, para sa lahat ng Pilipino. Uh, Yun lang, hinihintay. Uh, hopefully, next season magkita-kita tayo ulit at uh, pagagandahin pa natin ang ating liga. Sir, last na, baka may mga gusto ka rin pasalamatan. Of course, our, all of our sponsors, maraming maraming salamat po sa inyo. At of course, uh, sa lahat ng uh, sumusuporta sa liga since day one at uh, nandiyan po kayo sa amin. Uh, sana po huwag po kayong magsawang sumuporta sa amin. Maraming pong salamat. Sir, once again, congratulations and enjoy the off-season. Deserve mo yan, Sir Ever. Uh, balik na ating panel sa Delphin Coach Louie. And uh, congratulations as well to our uh, MPBL uh, uh, management and uh, you know, the, uh, the commissioner's office, the head of operations, uh, our, first, our executive officer. And, uh, um, you know, um, ang, uh, this was a grueling season. And, but the very fulfilling season, um, uh, syempre, you know, because Louie, kung hindi nila alam, medyo kasama din tayo sa pagpapa, you know, pagpapa, you know, to, katulong din tayo sa pag-promote ng Liga, no, with uh, some of uh, the things that we've been doing. And, uh, but, yeah, uh, grabe. Um, I can't believe it's over, <laughs> honestly. <laughs> Kasi nga, um, uh, you know, you, you, it's, it's like clockwork dito sa MPPL. Every day, you know, the people who work in the MTBL, the utility people, the the drivers, the the, the, the staff, the you know even yung sa mga statisticians natin, yung mga referees natin, they travel, um, you know every time. No, hindi, hindi siya ganun ka, ka kadale yung uh, yung sistema na yon. But yun nga na itawid etong uh, liga natin, and uh, not just na itawid, but we 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 flourished and uh, we we really gave uh, you know the, the rest of the world uh, a, a really good product and uh, something that we can be proud of yeah exactly said Delf. and uh, we know and especially started alam mo magsisimula sa ating uh, magandang leadership said Delf. and uh, it follows uh, again it's not easy na okay, moving from one venue to another pero yung again for us the purpose of bringing yung sa ating gusto ng ating founder na ilapit nga yung mga games na mahal ng mga Pilipino doon sa malapit sa kanila in different areas nitong uh, ating buong bansa it's just overwhelming sa dad nakakatuwa kasi tayong lagi na nasa venue tayo nakakakita kung ano yung talagang reaction ng mga fans eh oo oh, oh. di ba tayo talagang uh, first hand is nakikita natin sila yung yung uh, suporta nila sa team nila yung loyalty nila sa team nila yung support nila sa teams nila oo oh, oh. and uh you know, wherever we go, you now there is always, you know, the, of course the LGU partners. They they play a big part in uh, making this uh, uh, league uh, successful. You know, and and the team owners, you no, know, and ang, ang laking bagay na nandyan sila, always providing support and and helping us, uh, you know, make things happen here in the MPBL. And uh, you know that's it for us. Uh, for my partner, Coach Louis Gonzalez, our courtside reporters. Um, Mika Bisamis, Andrea Indicio, Sidney Crespo, Gianna Lianes, and uh, syempre, ang, ang, oh my God, congratulations pa. Oh, oh. mga players natin. All of them. Lahat all of them. Yan. And syempre, Pami pamilya tayo dito. Oh, syempre, <laughs> ang aking best friend, si oh, Ton. Uh, kailangan magpakita ka. <laughs> Ikaw ang best friend ko dito. And syempre, si uh, Miss Russell, na dire sila, ano, si Jimmy <laughs> Bot, and uh, sila direct. Uh, Coach Lou, it's been an honor um, uh, being uh, here with you and uh, 
Yan, daming nga... Uh, ito pa. Oo uh, naman siya. Uh, Kala mo, uh, idol natin. In addition to that, siyempre, advance Merry Christmas. Siyempre, inspiration rin natin nasa bahay, yung family natin. No. So, can take the chance. Okay, hello, Cherry. I love uh, you, Mommy. See and, you later. And, and, and siyempre, <laughs> he, he, he doesn't get a lot of credit ng uh, si uh, uh, Richard Tampos, one Oo of the, the, the voice of the MPBL. Really, siya ang... Uh, nagke-create ng magandang atmosphere dito sa sa liga natin and uh, and everyone everyone I cannot you know, I'm, I'm sorry if I cannot mention everyone but I I'm, I'm so happy and I'm so proud to be working here in the MPBL this is just uh, a, a great organization and and really you know serving its purpose in in, in taking the game uh, closer to the people and providing everyone a platform to to showcase their talent so uh, that's it for us. Um, yun, nasabi ko na yata lahat. Uh, lalo na si Ton. Hindi ko lang makakalimutan si Ton. And, uh, syempre, yung mga MPBL staff, they've been, uh, you know, they've been working day in and day out. Uh, so, mar maraming salamat. At syempre, mga friends natin sa Games and Amusements Board, ang ating mga sponsors. Oo. Oh, oh. eh, mga kasama din natin si Dal. Kay Javi, Miguel, oh, alam mo sila. So, sorry guys, walang Game 4 and Game 5. Hindi ka, lahat, lahat hindi ka mo mga Coach Mike dito. Perez. Coach Mike Perez. At oh. syempre, yung aking BFF, Coach JV Gayoso. <laughs> uh, hindi kita makakalimutan. Coach Christian. Oh, Coach Christian once on, uh, baka mag-champion na rin. Oh. Bukas. So, uh, let's see. Ano, yan, kanina yan. Kanina ba yan? Oh, kanina na. Uh, yun, yung mga friends natin from uh, the, dyan sa OB Van. Direct Burns. And uh, siyempre si uh, our, our founder and chairman. Yan po ang mga mukha ng mga taong nagtatrabaho araw-araw para maibigay sa inyo ang Maharlika Pilipinas Basketball League. And uh, just very, very proud and grateful to be part of this uh, wonderful organization. So, uh, yeah. Maraming salamat po. And... Uh, Advanced Merry Christmas to everyone. I think we will be back very soon with our preseason tournament and the opening of the 2024 season in March. So uh, thank you so much. Ito po si Sidel Tupa saying good night from Bakuor and thank you to all the MPBL supporters, sponsors, and fans for making this a wonderful 2023 MPBL season.